Hi, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to <laughs> Podcast. We'll, we'll save, save this relationship. relationship. I'm Sarah Sheer. I'm Josh E. Him. This is the seventh time we had to do this <laughs> intro. I'm going to say every time we do the podcast and the intro doesn't happen in the first take, I'm going to say how long it took to do the intro. I now, don't I give think, a all right? shit. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Today's podcast. Yeah. We talked about. What are we talking about, we talked bitch? about Quinn reviews uh-huh. this new April Fool's video that I had a very small hand in helping. Mm-hmm. And we talked about a pinball date that you and I went on. That was fun. And then we talked about uh, reviews on Google because it was redu- it, it was uh, talked to, brought up a few weeks ago on a yeah. coffee. So we yeah. did it finally. We're, we're doing our promises. Yeah, we promises did. Promises kept. A mission accomplished. It was a good bit. It was a good bit. And then we did our red stories as per usual. And yeah, that's it. Go watch yeah, it. Go watch it. There Enjoy you go. it. Don't Eat forget up that to content, like. Baby. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, <laughs> and hit the gosh darn bell. We're losing it, man. <laughs> and check out our Patreon and buy me a coffee at both of those websites forward slash APWSTR if you want to support the podcast. And check out Straight Over Coffee for a coffee line. And links for Palestine. Free Palestine. Free Palestine They're, is down in the description. Just, it's bullshit. What's fucking happening at Palestine? They, yeah, please keep supporting them, even though there's yes. technically a ceasefire. Keep Not pushing really it. Yeah. at all. Uh, no one's been abiding by a ceasefire. Exactly. So please go check it out. Links are down in the description. Yes. Enjoy the rest of the episode. See you there. Bye. Bye. How you doing, Sarah? Doing good. That's good. That's our show, everyone. <laughs> Did you fuck a dog? Did you kill a chicken? We just had a... <laughs> <laughs> we just had a whole like maybe 10 minutes of talking about music uh, yeah, prior to the show because i'm real pissed off at all the music that tiktok is trying to shove down my throat yeah while the also psyop. saying that uh, there are other music which i will not talk about i honestly no, i will I, I will say though i want to praise the new Chappelle roan is it new or is it um it is new she's been teasing it uh, and i think it's chapel roan actually Chappelle, okay i'm sorry i don't know how to say names no we i josh the, the cr uh <laughs> I'm on I'm on gay TikTok because I'm pansexual. If that's for a lot of people, that might blow your goddamn mind. Yeah, we used to have the flag fully it's right presented, there. and we've just I've just been lazy and don't have a lot of masking tape. It's coming out for June. That's that's that when. is true. Yeah, it that's goes away we'll, and then it comes back out. Yeah, we have to hide. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, gotta no. have the classic um the the, so the non ironed uh sexuality flag. Yeah, exactly. To elude that I'm in the closet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm deeply, deeply, deeply in the closet. But I've been on <laughs> Renee Rap. I've been on Chapel Roan TikTok for a long time now. I'm now on Jojo Siwa TikTok, and that's actually a crime. And I hate that everyone has forced me to talk about it. And I'm not going to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, we're not talking about it. We're going to talk about... We have other things planned. This one good song that we heard right before recording, because it's still stuck in my head. The new Chapel Roan song, uh, Good Luck, Babe, I heard it. <laughs> And I was like, oh, I've been fucking waiting for this to come out because it sounds so fucking good. Yeah. And I just, I was like, hey, Josh, are you ready for the next big pop artist of our time? And then, of yeah, our generation? And, then you played it and I was like, yeah, that's, that's some like, uh, it's amazing. It's genuinely amazing. Dude, honestly, I think, uh, she, God, it kind of reminds me, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, that song kind of reminds me of, uh, run away with me in quality you know what i mean i you know and i know that you like carly ray jepsen a lot yeah so i so, was like you're gonna love yeah this. no it's fucking great yeah yeah i don't know I, mean, I was thinking about it too like just like today after before recording i was just listening to a lot of like uh female-led like vocals pop vocalists like uh, after i listened to that that song i listened to uh fucking gravity by sarah Bareilles again mm-hmm. Which always Love good. Song. Banger. Great. That whole album's great. Then I listened to fucking um, Fleetwood Mac's uh, Little Lies. Mm-hmm. Fucking just good, man. I, I jokingly good. said before recording, all right, women are the only ones allowed to make music from here on out. Yeah. And the only exceptions, uh, Kendrick Blind Lamar. And Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the only two. Those are the only two. And no one else is allowed to make music if you're... Yeah. If you're <laughs> Yeah, I think that's pretty you solid. Identify uh, masculine. <laughs> You're out. Yeah, Stephen Jenkins is our, our token toxic Stephen straight Jenkins, man. Uh, because Kendrick of Lamar. how fucking insane that guy is. I can't. We gotta get tickets to see them. Yeah, we gotta get those soon. I fucking <laughs> yeah. love them so much. It's then, like a pilgrimage now. For honestly, me. yeah. And we're gonna go to Tampa to see fucking I'll even line. go to Tampa Dude, to see him. That's a, yeah, honestly, it takes a lot to get us to go to Tampa. It does. Oh, Tim Heidecker is also the third person that's allowed to make music. Um, 
Like he can make the Oscar uh, twenty yeah, different ways to do, make Oscar Bieber. Yeah, yeah. He can play the hits. You know, he can, he can still sing "Hot Piss." That's fair. That's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but yeah, I'm fucking. I'm excited to do this podcast, man. Me too, man. I don't know. It seems like not a lot happened this week in the personal lives. I'm excited about the red stories that we have. I'm excited about your red segment. Oh yes. And I'm excited to like just do like a bunch of mini topics. Yeah. As opposed to like a big dissection of something or talking about something really enjoyed i guess you know what i mean yeah i feel like we've been serious the past two yeah, episodes i want to get goofy let's get fucking let's goofy, get fucking with, goofy it, baby. with it yeah let's do it um i kind of want to start off i kind of want to uh shout out quitting reviews real quick mm. i think that's a good starting point yeah like i want to talk about the experience i had uh and then i can do a, a fake thumbnail of quitting reviews exposed <laughs> For being a good Don't boss. Don't do that. He's going to have a heart attack. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. No, he's, he's a sweet he, man. He was a great uh, dude. So, okay. Yeah. If you haven't know, if you haven't been on the YouTubes yeah. recently, uh, a 38 hour long <laughs> video dropped uh, from Quentin Reviews yeah. for what well, was supposed to be April Fool's. And then uh, the video was stuck in processing for like two years. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. No, I'm yeah. joking. I'm joking. But, okay, but this has been okay. So this has been in the works for like two years. This April Fool's Day video, and I know that because I got hired uh, to work for Quentin in October 2022, mm-hmm. and so I and I got in like maybe halfway through it. I think. Yeah. And also, this is. I think he's got another video planned related to this video. I don't want to spoil it, obviously, but. Yeah. Uh, fucking, I, I've been, wor- I worked on that video starting in October all the way through like a little bit into, uh, 2023. And then I worked on other videos that he, uh, one of them he released earlier. Uh, Sam and Cat. The Sam and Cat video. There's another video coming out that I worked on. So I've been doing other work before this video came out and this video has been in the work for like two years. So it's exciting to see it come out finally. Yeah. Uh, I have a voice cameo in it. I have not heard it. Because it's like it's, it's way it's, deep in there. It's not. It's it's before the twenty four hour mark, but it's after the twenty hour mark. Yeah, I still think the twenty four hour mark counts as uh way deep in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not that deep into the video. It's, it's uh, only like around a day into the fucking video. video. Yeah, I but think. It's, uh, uh, but that's yeah. awesome. I, I I don't know. I I, I it's so good. I yeah, don't it's know. A good video. Like, I, and I was watching it too. Like I got. I think we got like. Maybe we watched like two hours, of two it. hours of it, and then we stopped to watch Bones because it was like a blink. It was like, oh fuck! If we yeah, keep watching Tom this, flew watching it. We're I not going to watch surprised. Bones today, yeah. and that's a crime. Which is, I mean, it's a good testament for a video that's thirty-eight hours long. Is that the first uh, hours that we watched it flew by? Yeah, especially one that's like played off as a joke. I, I don't even think I've gotten to any of the parts that I've edited yet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. which is so bizarre and yeah. i love it i don't know it's it's just like and seeing the response like there was a uh there was a wendigoon tweet apparently where it was like a, all right i'll concede like i can make a whole <laughs> video on the bible and it wouldn't be 38 hours long yeah real real and it's re- like real God. wendigoon hours but i don't know i just want to i want to uh, if you guys haven't seen it yet i highly recommend it you should absolutely go see it i did i did work for it i did editing work and i did one little like one line of voiceover i think mm-hmm. i don't even remember <laughs> right now you have the credit so it stayed in it stayed in yeah thankfully yeah so i didn't fuck that up thankfully i, I don't know why i was actually like kind of nervous doing the voice acting i think i remember because i didn't know the tone of the comic yeah and i think it was like um I remember you doing it too. It's so crazy because now it's like years ago that I remember you working on it and yeah, talking it's like to me. Weirdly about it. nostalgic, yeah, for me. <laughs> <laughs> it just came out and it's nostalgic. Yeah, it's like, damn, I edited this during the hurricane. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did. Oh man. That's crazy. It's just so cool, man. Yeah. It feels like a big piece of like YouTube history that you were able to be a part of, you know? Yeah, and like looking at the, and I think it's very strange now looking at it, like um, <laughs> I did the uh, the fucking math, I'm now uh, officially three degrees away from Kevin Bacon because um, Oh, genuinely Kevin Bacon? Yeah, so like fucking uh, <laughs> uh, since Quentin did a video, the Sam and Cat video that I edited uh, he was oh, with yeah. uh, Matt Bennett and apparently Matt Bennett was in a movie with Kevin Bacon? I think so, yeah. So oh, that wow. Because Quentin was with that, and then I was in a video with Quentin, technically. And Ariana Grande. And Ariana Grande, yeah. yeah. It's, this, uh, what a weird career I've had so far that's, like, just starting. Yeah, just cool shit. Cool yeah, little you know? shit like this, and, like, you seeing, know? like, in the credits, too, like, even though I've had no contact with, like, any of these people, but, like, mm. you know, like, Hugbees is in the fucking oh, video. Yeah. There's, yeah. like, a bunch of other voice actors and people that I've seen that I've, like, looked up to in one way or another, yeah. you know? 
it's just kind of crazy seeing all these people come together. Oh, internet comment er- uh, uh, etiquettes in the video. Yeah, fucking awesome. I could I can brag to people. <laughs> That's pretty chill. Yeah, I was in a video with uh, internet comment etiquette, even though I've never met him <laughs> in my fucking life. I mean, little you know, it's I say little shit like this, but it's like it's one of those things where it's just like cool things that you can say. Yeah, that exactly. you should be able to brag about. And I feel like um teenagers on the internet will be like, oh, who cares? That's not a real me. <laughs> Like, I feel like every time I would say something like that, I get, like, that kind of mentality. Like, oh, someone's going to say that to me. I can't. I have to be cool. I can't be proud yeah. of my accomplishments. No, I'm very proud of what you everyone was able to do. Especially because uh, I, I, I think I uh, found out recently that that whole video was basically written by Quentin's dad. That's awesome. And basically with, like, some help from Quentin here or there. And then, like, there were, like, dozens of editors, I think. I don't even know because, like, the... <laughs> I, I saw the uh, the scrolling credits, but I wasn't even able to count how many editors fully was like yeah. on it, you know. But like, it's just really cool, man. Yeah, there's something about being a part of a bigger thing and being a cog in a. I mean, not really like a cog in a machine. I think that has like a shitty. Um, That's more like if I was in a corporate space, you know yeah. what I mean? But, but this like, is like you helped a, bu- a bunch of people get a really good product out, and it's really yeah. awesome. I don't even know how much of the video I edited. I think I've edited. God, I'm trying to think, like maybe an hour or two of it total. I don't even know. I, I, I don't I don't feel the need to like go and like relook because I think I still have a lot of the files on my computer somewhere. Oh, that's awesome. But like I remember a few of them were like, oh yeah, that was a 30 minute timeline I sent plus mm-hmm. uh, other. Yeah, like it was cool. fucking wild. Yeah, it's just cool. I don't know. Cool. Yeah. So I, don't know, I wanted to shout that out at the beginning. So if you guys, <laughs> if we're ever gone for a week and you're like, damn, I missed the four hour long podcast this there's, week there you go 38 there's, goddamn there's hours 38 for you hours. bitches yeah if you're uh if you're <laughs> they had a little it had a little sprinkle of uh josh magic yeah. on it <laughs> <laughs> but it's really good it's a really good video yeah no i yeah I, I didn't do any of the writing obviously but like yeah i did little edits so much of the editing too in it like really like a, a lot of the editors really did like a really fucking well all of them everyone did a really great yeah, job on you the know, video I, one of the things that I was interested in is that a lot of people left in some of the outtakes within the video and it's I was so, so worried in the middle of it like god I want to keep this in well it was your first job for Quentin yeah so I didn't really fully know like where to go with it yeah uh, but like I, I slowly got more comfortable with it and I think I might have left in a few like there's sometimes where uh his dad would read a line and right at the end of it just start laughing and i remember <laughs> that too yeah i hope i hope i left those in or i hope even that like quentin went in and changed that because i made a mistake not leaving that in you yeah, know what i mean i feel you like i feel like that had such a nice charm to the whole presentation i think there needs to be more like mm. uh what's it called fucking uh like just little outtakes you know little things oh, that yeah make... a lot of the things like there was one that i remember that was so funny where he was say he said a line wrong and then he corrected it and then he goes golly don't put that in <laughs> yeah <laughs> it was or really he, or he said things like oh that's gonna take a while and then he said it a couple times and yeah, yeah. ah so that's good it's just good, good content shit. it is it's yeah. really good content god it bless is, and it's 38 out i you know like i know there's probably i don't know how there's like one guy that i know that used to make not i know but like you know like he used to make like mm. 12 hour long videos on like the star wars like new oh, trilogy wow. like and i watched that oh, and i was I like remember that you shit? Yeah, yeah and i was like that I, was you not you couldn't pay engaging. me to watch that yeah. yeah and but this fucking video that's 38 hours long hooked me in yeah because it's not just a a sped through like it's it takes its time obviously because it's 38 hours but mm. like that video specifically that i'm thinking of which i think was about probably the last jedi it had a bunch of the same like eye rolling emoji of like um mm. uh Robert Downey Jr. and I, then Yeah, I don't know if I can be like around a sarcastic person for twelve hours. You know yeah, what I there's mean? A, it's a it's a limit, I think. Yeah. I think maybe like an hour or two tops. tops. Yeah. But like if you have a yeah. genuine passion for something, like it's gonna be felt through the screen. And that's oh, how yeah. I think a lot of people like his dad really loves this fucking show. Beverly Hillbillies. So good. And it's just, it's great. I love the way that he talks about it. It's He's so engaging. And if he stays that way throughout the 38 hours, he's a talent. Yeah, for sure. Like, just thinking of all the months of recording and, like, yeah. you know, the, like, having, like, still keeping, like, a same or similar tone throughout that recording. And it just felt, it watching it, it feels easy. 
for him. God, I remember this one moment, like, um, during the editing process where, like, because, uh, like, it was, like, when it was looking for someone to, like, uh, do, like, the specifically find someone that would be interested in the transition from, like, black and white to the color mm, uh, period. Yeah. And I just kind of remember looking at that, too, like, damn, that's, like, a crazy moment. And, like, yeah. you know, like, just that, like, that switch, like, that you can see from the timeline where, like, in the 70s, 80s, they switched everything around from color, from into color, you know, like, yeah. seeing that happen, I think, in the video, which I haven't gotten to that point yet. But like, yeah, right. But, like, I can only imagine, like, damn, like, this is, like, during television history too you know like this show existing you know and that's what it's content like that that i love because it feels a lot like um the point of view of art that i i give a shit about which is like it's not made for money it's not made for a specific aesthetic it's made because you fucking need to make it yeah you know it's like i have a fucking something in me and i need to make this and i'm going to make it and yeah. here it is, and it's shitty or it's good. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to put it out there. And then fucking hordes of people come to love it because of your passion. Yeah. You know? I Yeah. I You know, like, and I know that, like, uh, it was a l minorly disappointing to see the video come out, like, three or four days late when it's supposed to be yeah. April Fool's Day. However, I think you can give him a pass. Still, I totally, yeah. I think it's we can all a goddamn that. thirty-eight hour video. <laughs> it's fun. I think the, I, if I'm not mistaken, it was somewhere around the one fifty uh, gigabyte. Uh, Jesus so Christ! So it was heavily compressed before it even got uploaded. So wild. Which is interesting because when I, I remember doing the the wolf story, the twelve hour cut of that, yeah. that was like eighty gigs, like and pretty much not that compressed. Oh, that's crazy. Which I don't know why I did that because I think that also took like ten to twelve hours to upload. <laughs> That was a 12 hour video? Yeah, 11 hours, 52 minutes, I want to say. I didn't realize that we did that. I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't. Oh, yeah, we did that too, huh? Yeah. But we've been blown out of the water now because yeah. it is. There's now. I don't think we've. Damn. Fuck. Unless I literally just make a super cut of every podcast every episode. Fiction that we've done this year like oh man dude that'll be so funny april fools next year i just do best of apwstr and it's, it's still... just the entire <laughs> it's everything <laughs> everything since oh. we started doing the reddit yeah dude it still wouldn't be as good because no, it's, it? it's not original edited, and it's, it's not, not original yeah. shit yeah that's the thing like you know i was thinking about it too like with like streams and stuff like i know many people like when they do like subathons like they do yeah. you know week-long streams you know and then like they have to when they put it over to youtube they have to cut it down to like 12 hour chunks but this is a highly edited yes uh written video that's 38 hours long or 34 or 30, i don't, can't even remember it's how long it is i think it's 38 hours yeah, yeah. so yeah uh, i don't know i just i just recommend it uh because a i had a part in it and b i think it's a genuinely like it's a great good video, video. Yeah. yeah as far as i've seen maybe like 28 hours in uh, my cameo comes up and I sound like dog shit in which case <laughs> I don't know yeah we'll see yeah but yeah no so I just wanted to bring that up at the beginning yeah. I just have a couple mini topics okay we're just we're just we're just, we're just mini Take topic your time on it, it, baby. Right? I'm not yeah. rushing you I do want to talk about our pinball experience now yes we went to a pinball arcade uh, on Thursday I didn't I guess I didn't know this about you prior to this but I didn't know that you were like super into pinball because I I'm not super I mean I feel like I'm not super into pinball but like it's one of those um old-timey things that like I think I could really fuck up man <laughs> I yeah. could really get in there and fuck it up I okay so I okay I've been I've been having I've been feeling the need to play pinball for like five months now what yeah, genuinely. Why didn't you tell me we could have gone? <laughs> I know. I was, I was, I was hiding it. I was hiding it from myself and mm. everyone else. Yeah. Uh, okay. So five months ago, another video everyone should watch is by Technology Connections, aka for those of you deep into ABWSTR lore, uh, because these video, these episodes are gone. Uh, he's the guy that taught me that an elevator oh, dings yay! twice when you go down. Uh, fucking. Uh, he made a video. He made two videos now about how like old timey pinball machines work, mm -hmm. like using like electro mechanics. Yeah, and those videos are two hours long, so that's definitely something you can watch when we take a week off. Yeah, I genuinely might watch that because I'm like now I want to build my own pinball machine. Yeah, so like he did like a video basically of like well, very lightly touching on like the early history of pinball and yeah. like you know uh, and basically like he talked about like one machine that he has and like how it all works and it was very similar. I think it's by the same people that had some of the uh 
machines or like the machines that we played on the one machine that we really played on and enjoyed a lot mm-hmm. but like i've had it so like five months ago i watch it and i've slowly been like i kind of want to just go play pinball for like an hour dude fuck yeah and then you and i did that i found out uh recently that there's this uh <laughs> no okay so it's like a hollowed out mall turned into like a kind of tourist trap it's called deezer land yeah so uh, so it, off of I drive and like the uh, I don't want to say shitty part of I drive because there are shittier well, parts. It does seem a little run down and it was during the middle of the day. So there was On not really that many Thursday people there. afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like a little fucking strip mall, like a little mall that's just like, you know, the one level mall. It's not really that big of a deal. And it's got a big golf, like not a golf course, a uh, go kart. Well, apparently they do have like a mini golf thing. Oh, that makes sense. And I looked at it, and the only thing I can see, it seems like it's in this like one little room almost, but it's like glow in the dark. And I think that's oh. the selling point of it. Yeah, that makes sense. But like, yeah, so like it's, uh, yeah, so like, like through like one or two go kart tracks, and like yeah. there's like a small food court, and there's like, I think the main draw of it's supposed to be this like auto museum. Yeah. That just has a bunch of like cars from like movies and like historical cars and stuff. Yeah. And there's also like a a Greg Turkington ass fucking The whole thing's kind of Greg Turkington (laughs) ass. A little bit, yeah. It's like Greg Turkington, but for cars. Yeah. But like there's, and Greg Turkington for pinballs, which is us. Yeah. Uh, But fucking, uh, they have like this 007 Bond bar and also museum. Mm Mm-hmm. That takes up like the size of uh like a uh, like an old navy <laughs> at a mall. I think it's the best way to describe it. Like, yeah, you could pretty obviously tell that these places were like this used to be an Applebee's. Yeah, <laughs> this used to be a fucking. <laughs> There's I don't the know. optometrist outside with the Pizza Hut, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, thing. The Walmart eye doctor. Uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, fucking no, yeah. but yeah. So uh, we we went there, and it's like this, like you know, it's it's a uh, it's. It's run down in like a cute way, I guess. Like you know, and it was no, a Thursday. It's great. It's, yeah, great. It was yeah. good. it's like so we went to this like like little corner pinball place that had like maybe fifty to seventy machines. Yeah, and they were like, all right, thirty bucks, two thirty people, bucks for two people, and you for, play an hour. for an hour, and you just hit the button, and you're good. Oh, yeah, and that's all you need. It's like a it's a damn pinball machine, unless you're gonna get like super fucking into it and play and there play, all day. Yeah, and like try and get like super high scores or yeah. something. Yeah, you try the machines, and then you go home. That's and really then, it. I guess like because maybe I wonder how much pinball has. <laughs> I'm going to say fallen off, but that's not the right word. Because, like, they also have, like, just PlayStations and oh, yeah. Xboxes. So, like, if you want to play regular video games, yeah, it's like available. Yeah, Smash, if you want to sit on a couch uh, and play Smash. Billiards, yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. It's it's a it's a nice, yeah. interesting kind of, like, mix ma- mishmash of things in this, like, little section, you know? Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. So, like, yeah, we went there and we played uh, pinball for just an hour. And it was, uh, I, I don't... <sighs> I don't know how to describe it. It's very weird seeing, like... Because it's also... It, in the same way that, like, the auto museum is, like, about the history of it, you can kind of see it in this, like, little pinball place where, like... Oh, yeah. Half of it's sectioned off to, like, older machines from, like, the 60s and 70s. Yeah, they put the James Bond ones, like, facing out so that people would be like, Oh, James oh, yeah, Bond James pinball! Bond, yeah, because oh, yeah, I just went to the James Bond Museum. Now mm-hmm. I can play the James Bond pinball. Yeah. And then in the back corner is um, a pinball for two or whatever the fuck it was called. The one machine we played the most of, because... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, like, from... It's super old. It yeah. had the regular, like, bell chimes when yeah. it would hit something. And then it awesome. was fucking difficult it was a yeah like, and a like you difficult could see machine. it uh spark every time it hit the um uh like the little rubber yeah. bumpers yeah like it's great it was awesome 10 out of 10 and, and um, then you go over and then it's like uh like adhd machines where like they just have a bunch of different fucking you bells can't even and see whistles. where the ball is the Dude, fucking light oh my god i was actually lights. thinking about how annoying that was yeah Dude, i was like I was... this is i'm pissed off actually <laughs> yeah and like the the best part was the old machine was like you know, you get like five points for hitting yeah, a thing. It doesn't even have the super inflated like I get um, numbers to yeah. like really you got fifty billion points. And when one they were learning go. like how to get a child addicted to a video game, you know, where they were like flashing colors, and then you put like Spider Man on it, and then it says like you want a million points. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like the top guy is like. 500 million points yeah <laughs> and you're like oh the millions like one and have to get 500 yeah exactly okay, but I, where I this one it. it's like honest where it's like all right if you have the bun- bumper once you get one point <laughs> and if it's lit up like maybe you'll get 10 that's I don't my favorite know. shit of all yeah. time is like shit from the fucking 
like that vibe from like the 40s and 50s where it's like you get one point or you get nothing. Yeah. You fucking- get one. That's it. You hit the bumper, you get five points. If you hit the bumpers correctly, maybe you'll get a hundred. Yeah. All right, listen. Uh, okay, if you All get a right. hundred, that's a, that's really good. You know, just in like smoke like fucking, raided fucking warehouses, like talk a bunch to of me people. Straight. Don't fucking clickbait me in your yeah. damn videos. You know what I mean? Oh, it's only fifty billion points to get a replay. Oh, every point's only worth a thousand. All right, well, cool. You know what I mean? It's like I upload the video, this is the content, you also, watch it, and then that's it. Yeah. Or it's the like Mr. Beastification of like, and then you get a hundred million points. Oh god, there were so many machines so there that didn't even have plungers. They just had like fake guns. I hated that. That was so annoying. When I did the, uh, there was like an Indiana Jones one, and it's like the revolver, and you had no control over it. Yeah, and you can't change And the then the machine's thing. like mocking you you almost where it's like all right if you get 60 of these the three bumpers that everyone knows about because yeah. we all played fucking microsoft goddamn pinball we, we all, all know the three, yeah pinball. the three bumpers where they are but you can't even get to the bumpers because they're fucking hidden behind 15 different lanes of bullshit yeah. my favorite like, thing to do at a pinball arcade is to just go up to like one of those where it's like oh it's fucking um the rolling stones pinball game and you gotta hit Mick, Mick Jagger in the middle Square of the thing the as he's yeah. like going <laughs> around, you know. And uh, then it's like, oh, you have you get two balls and you lose immediately, yeah, anytime. because the game sucks garbage. <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh yeah, they yeah. threw their IP on something. They didn't give a shit about whether the game was fun. Cool. I will say, I there was one that was for the last action hero that I actually kind of did all right on because mm. it actually the multi ball wasn't the most. Uh, annoying as it could have been yeah but it definitely was still like at some point there was like a crane moving and i'm like what the fuck is this <laughs> what's oh, going I on <laughs> which one i did that was like i think it was the um ripley's believe it or not where i did it like that was a weird one i was like, like wait three the, different times but it, it the was museum because place has a pinball machine i guess it makes sense but it was actually pretty cool there was a lot of different like little details in it and the the buttons were really reactive that was kind of part of it that i was like i really don't like ones where the buttons are not very reactive yeah or it just feels like heavy i like the ones where it goes really quick yeah um just because i feel like i have better control over the ball and um same, I get that. Yeah, and I, I, you know, I played that one like three times, and I was like, okay, genuinely, I feel like I'm getting better at this now, and <laughs> I have, I'm playing a game rather than a, a game is just giving me instant gratification. I didn't watch you play this one. There was the Jack Daniels one that just had a half. Oh yeah, it was just like covered in half naked women. Yeah, was it? Co- it was so also wasn't even- garbage. It was also garbage. <laughs> it was like it was one of those two baller ones where you just you do it, and it's like oh, and it goes in between your thing, and you can't really hit the ball yeah and then you're like okay i was wondering because like that one was like also i think that one was also like up front almost like it was like in it was view the, shot the, the, the window. windows or whatever yeah i it's like, just kind of liked it for it was one of those it, it felt like i was just playing it for the aesthetic it was like okay kids walking by can see a gender non-conforming fat woman um Play. <laughs> playing a jack daniels uh pinball machine covered in scantily clad women yeah from 2005 (laughs) yeah i was like that's cool i guess i guess yeah it's an interesting yeah aesthetic yeah that's a that's a vibe but it's a bad game (laughs) it's not a i don't i wouldn't put a lot of quarters into that you know Uh, no me neither yeah that's the thing that i find like yeah like the whole idea of like uh, the flashiness of it because like that was one of the things in the technology connection video where it's like listen you might have fun playing this but it just wants your money that's yeah. all this pinball machine ever wants also i was looking up fucking pinball machines these days like nine thousand ten thousand dollars yeah like, that's why i want to build my own man i'm trying to think of like how the fuck do you make money back if it's only a quarter now i don't know i don't even know is it just for fun probably just for fun yeah, it's probably just for fun it's, yeah i'm the type of person that like i'm the type of uh kid that grew up in exactly I'm gonna say this and you guys are gonna know exactly what you mean how poor to how rich I was when I was growing up yeah if I had a million dollars a billion dollars some insane amount of fuck you money yeah I would buy a too big house in a shitty area and I would fill the basement with pinball machines and popcorn machines. Yeah, and honestly. DDR. And Dude, like, fuck yeah. You know, a fucking, what are those, those Guitar Hero 
uh, oh, arcade thing, cabinets. Arcade yeah. cabinets. And I, that would be in there. It's like some shit that poor people do when they get rich, you know, is like, but not like, not like so poor that you're like, okay, I'm going to pay off everybody's student loans. A. Eh? Yeah. You know, I wouldn't do that. I would but just like, fucking, you were like, just like, I would middle waste class my fucking enough. money. Yeah. I'm like eight, an eight year old that is given Let's a million dollars. bring the Dave and Busters here. Yeah. Know? I just That's make like- a Dave and Busters in my, in my basement and then pay <laughs> people to repair all the machines because I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't know. It seems interesting to like try and figure out how to repair those things, especially the older ones yeah. that are just like filled with uh, uh, fucking relays and like wires that go to nowhere. You know? Yeah. 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 I don't know. I feel like uh, I think I'm getting. I part of me does like maybe this is why I enjoyed this. Like, and also that you told me about this place in Oviedo that has like pinball. Yeah, I wonder with my friend. Of- yeah, and that one also looks a lot like better because it like it seems like more people go there and they have like a pinball league. <laughs> They do? Yeah, so if you wanted to get competitive, oh, yeah. <laughs> but, like, I was looking at that one, I was like, damn, like, I'm happy that there's, like, a lot of people still into pinball, because, like... Yeah, it's something that, like, I, like, we, there were a couple, like, middle-aged guys, and, like, also, like, older couples that were playing, Yeah, that I was like, this is, like, yeah, boomers should be doing this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you grew up with this. Yeah, you know, and the fucking... I think maybe that's why I'm, like... <sighs> Because the only, okay, I'm thinking about Dave and Buster's now, yeah. and like these like middle, like middle entertainment, whatever the fuck it's called, main stage entertainment. That's oh. the one at a point, yeah. I think. And I remember that one from the Drew Gooden video mm-hmm. that he did on like arcades. But fucking, um, like the only machines that I like at those places, because those places are for sure made to take as much money as possible. Oh, yeah. And like all the, you know, like the machines that I really enjoy at those places are like the coin pushing machines. Oh yeah, those I are love the those. only ones that I think I would ever fucking. Dude, that couple on TikTok Live that just has the coin pushing machines. Dude, they have I all would... the coins and they just do that all day. If I didn't like, if I if I just it's wanted to, life. I would get a coin machine. If we had the money for it, I would get a coin machine and do the thing that the people that steal our content do, and I would just put the coin machine. I would do it as a yeah. live stream. I would just put a bunch of our TikToks in like a draw, a Google folder, and then on OBS have like a live feed of the, uh, <laughs> and then like somewhere like a floating like the DVD logo, <laughs> like how yeah. to bounce our own TikToks. Yeah, I don't know if that if that makes sense. Uh, Patreon.com <laughs> forward slash JBWSDR. Get us to ten thousand dollars a month on there, and I'll buy a coin pushing machine. Yeah, do it. Honestly, to make content. <laughs> I kind of want to learn, this uh, This is, okay, this is something that before I came out as uh, pansexual, mm. like, officially, people were like, Sarah, you're gay. <laughs> you are gay. Yeah. Because you want to do this, you're a gay woman. You like <laughs> women. And I, hey, you God like, hey, hey, hey. Um, no, but, like, I used to be, do things like, oh, man, what if I just made my own fucking guitar? I think that could be cool. Yeah. Or what if I just got into really into woodworking? Or what if I got into baseball or softball yeah, or uh, like rowing or things like? Sometimes I get these ideas and then I, I start saying them, and then the my my bisexual women friends around me are like, "You're gay." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> straight women don't want to do that and um i'm sure there are straight women out there that do really cool no, straight women yeah. i'm like i'm not saying that women don't have hobbies and i think it is a shitty stereotype no for sure yeah but like there is a part of me that's playing pinball and i'm shooting the plunger right <laughs> there there is and something I'm just like i could and this get is the like fucking for, ladies I feel if it. i got really good at this yeah you just fucking <laughs> I was born to be like a goofy dad in the eighties, who's that like, really "Oh, I got, a, I got my own uh, bowling shoes, my own bowling ball." Oh yeah, fucking you know? god! And this is how your mom and I met. Yeah, <laughs> she saw me in my sweet, my my sweet ass little bowling shoes, and I fucking knocked this shit down and won her heart. God! And now, fucking ten years later, here you are. <laughs> I don't know why. There's something in me that's uh, that's just that's that's who I am. I right. caught your mom pregnant in the back seat of the car <laughs> at the bowling alley. Yeah, my red um, Corvette Jaguar. Jaguar. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. And my uh, '73 Chevy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some random shit. My, yeah. My huge ass van with a big wizard on the side you're, of it. Yeah, you're describing what Stranger Things wants to be. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> 
that's why I think a you big think part two? of me wants to bully uh, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> From yeah. Like I'm not a nerd. I'm not a. I'm not no, a loser. I'm a guy that's. But I'm not a jock either. I just want to beat up Eddie from Stranger Things. That's fair. That is fair. But yeah, I don't know. I think like uh, you know, trying to find like hobbies now. You know, it's like oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, and like hobbies that specifically get me outside. Oh yeah, and out of the house. But also like, why does everything cost so much fucking money? <laughs> Real, you know, because like even though like it was thirty bucks for like an hour, like that's the cheapest thing in Orlando, I think. That is really, yeah. It was like, shocked me that it was thirty dollars yeah, for two and people, like, you know. And it felt it actually felt okay, like to leave a tip that time because I'm like, okay, this is like thirty bucks. Yeah, like I would have spent yeah. fifty bucks elsewhere. Yeah, yeah the guy didn't it. do anything but put our bracelets on. But yeah, yeah. You know it. what? He put it on and didn't cut me with it. So no, he was very gentle. Twenty dollars. Yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, fucking. Uh, I don't know. Like a very like uh I don't know, like, I'm, cause I've been thinking about it, like, you know, like, uh, trying to do, like, things that are out of the house. And, like, the first thing I thought of months ago was, all right, I'm gonna train for a marathon, cause that's, uh, you know. Yeah, you were really I just in the go fitness. outside and, which I still kind of am. I yeah, think, like, I think, I'm, I think I'm gonna get back into it slowly as I get more time. Yeah. Also, ironically, now that the 38 hour long Quentin video's done, I'm like, all right, I got time now to. <laughs> Even though you haven't been working on it, <laughs> that video specifically. Like years? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, okay, now that's done, I can work out now. Yeah. But, like, <laughs> that can be put to, to bed, you know? Yeah. Uh, but fucking, uh, I don't know, like, it, like the idea of, like, okay, the only free thing to do is run outside. Yeah. And especially before it gets super goddamn hot outside. Yeah. And then I'm going to oh, for Jesus. sure enjoy the, the Planet Fitness membership, you know? Yeah. I don't know. It's like, uh, it's, it's interesting living in Orlando for that reason, where, like, there are all these, like, little entertainment places that a lot of people don't see because they like uh you know because the big three you know fucking disney universal yeah. sea world there's and, like even the go-karting thing in the middle of this i was like um excuse me you can go to fun spot and have yeah, a better like, go-karting experience that, that fuck you yeah like it, it's not just stuck on one uh layer yeah i i will say too of that specifically like oh god i'm gonna get i i'm now realizing as i'm saying this and thinking this i am now a a go kart uh, snob because I used to go kart now, a fuck time. When I saw that go karting rink where it was just basically a loop on one level, I was like, "That's not That's a real go kart." Yeah, I <laughs> it's not a real one. Because like, because like, yeah. a person who's go karted maybe twice, and it was because Fun Spot is near us, and uh, the yeah. Disney go karting or thing that they used that they have. These have a go karting. Oh, oh, the the one where you're on a track and it's in like Tomorrowland. Oh yeah, that one. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, and it sucked ass because my brother was in front of me and he was in the thing and his ran out of gas. Oh shit! So it was going, but it was going really I slow. The, yeah, I, I heard that they're replacing that with electric, which makes so much sense. Why the yeah, fuck haven't they been you, doing that yeah. in the first goddamn place? But like, yeah, that's good for them. But that happens, you get stuck behind them. So we we were just two people going really slow for the so, entire thing. Hell yeah! And then they got mad at us for taking so long, and we were like, "But the thing, you guys you, didn't refill the gas. That's not on me. That's yeah. not my fault. I paid like three hundred dollars to be here. Yeah, come on. And then I had a bad time. Yeah, but like, sorry. yeah, Orlando has a lot of go. Like, yeah, fun spot. I remember because I lived in Kissimmee. That was the go to place. Yeah, uh, and that also like was the crazy one because like. Also, like, uh, the only good thing about, like, the flat go-kart ones is that you can go faster, comparatively. Yeah, yeah. But, like, and that's, like, I think where the competitiveness... Because I remember doing one that was, like, an electric indoor go-karting place, like, mm. in summer one year. I still have the shirt from it, because, like, you paid 20 bucks, you got, like, two laps and a free t-shirt, you know? Oh, yeah. But, like, fucking, that one was interesting, because, like, A, it was electric, so it wasn't destroying your back in heat. <laughs> Because I did, there was one, uh, I think also on iDrive. All of them are on iDrive because that's the only place in Orlando that exists. That's yeah. our that's our Vegas strip, I guess. Yeah. But like fucking, uh, there was one that was like outside. And I remember doing that in summer. Don't know why. Yeah. Gas carts. Fucking Jesus Christ. Not okay. But like there was like one like half mile stretch that you could just go super fast on. Yeah. And then a hairpin turn that I always slowed down on because I'm like, I'm not going to drift. I'm going to get in trouble if I drift. They have all these signs. <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble. They have all I... these signs that say "Don't drift." That's so that's so silly. I love it. God, but I don't know. Yeah, it's weird. Like the like living in this city of entertainment. Like that yeah. isn't like Vegas, where like you the only thing to do is I guess gamble. Maybe There's and maybe see show. Yeah, but like, but yeah, 
there's just a lot of like little things to try and find and like make hobbies out of, you but know. But it does also feel like everything costs money. Yes. It's difficult to find something that's just like free and fun. That isn't like and I guess like maybe the most would be like walking around a park. Like it probably would yeah. be free to go to like uh Lou Gardens is really good. Yeah. Um if you're I mean if you're ever in Orlando, go to Lou Gardens. Yeah. They're really beautiful and it's also it's a it's a great it's a great place. Sometimes they'll even sell their um in the spring, usually oh, they'll yeah, sell, they sell their plants. Their we plants. did a, a a a market right by Lou Gardens one time, and it was packed with parking because everyone was parking and walking like literally a mile, mile and a half with little wagons to get so, uh, nursery trees. Yeah, yeah, fucking cute. What a weird city we live. In. It, re- <laughs> it really is it. weird. Oh fuck, we gotta talk about uh, why we're never going out ever again. Uh, <laughs> on uh, oh yeah, drive. we saw like eight almost. Um, Death this causing was the main accidents. Point of I think this segment was supposed to be don't drive in Orlando. Uh, it's terrible, yeah, dude. Okay, so yeah, one of the benefits of this job is we work from home and we don't have to fucking uh, do anything ever and yeah. drive out. We've I think this was the first time in months that I've driven during rush hour. Yeah, um, yeah. and I'm never. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> Same. Yeah. Uh, I will say, good thing about having weekdays off instead of weekends is that nothing everything's open and it's super easy to get into places and usually there's nobody there yeah so you can just like have a nice private little thing you know yeah like i think when we did the escape room like we technically did that on like a weekday there's only like four other people with us but like even that area was like fucking oh uh universal at universal yeah yeah also i i'm thinking back to that was is that four kids did we do that? And that's it might supposed be to kids. be for but also, children. But also, uh, no, because it has all the parental advisory. Uh, you're gonna get uh, smoked out by the fog machines, and it, there's gonna be flashing lights. I saw some material for like escape rooms and things like that, and it was just like you bring your, you know, it was like more kid focused than adult focused, and mm. I was like, is this a children's activity now? Have they made they it children it. for children? It. I want the hard ones. Oh yeah, let's make the yeah. Let's make the prison escape room at that one place we yeah, went to. Let's that make that for kids. Yeah, but, but they do the also have one. the playground version. Do you, do you think I don't want to do the playground I version? Know, I do I too. I want to do. They have a slide in there, Sarah. It's, I want to go on the goddamn slide. Yeah, right. that's the that's the that's the <laughs> issue with shit in Orlando. You never know if you're showing up and you're just basically walking into a birthday party with a clown. That was the thing. Also at the place, I think there was a birthday party going there was on. Yeah, for at the go kart place. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's just like, yeah, most places are a weird mix between, like, uh, <laughs> yeah. If you go three miles south, there's a strip club, but then right next to it's a Chuck E. Cheese. You know what I mean? Like, it's so. Oh, that was the craziest thing. We were walking in, there was an old woman in front of us, and there was this couple, and the guy was trailing behind the girl. Girl was very attractive. She was wearing, like, yoga pants and stuff, and she was, but she was great. She was fine. She was walking. And the old woman in front of us turned to her and said something. And she starts laughing really uncontrollably. And then her boyfriend is trailing behind her, goes up to her and goes, what did she say? Yeah, I didn't even because hear this Because I guess yeah. he saw her face. We couldn't see her face or whatever. He goes up to her and says, what did, what, did you, what did she say? And the woman says, "Why?" she said, why are you walking like you're walking down OBT? Okay, for Which those of you who don't know, slang for a prostitute. Yeah, Orange Blossom Trail is is no- is notoriously known for having a bunch of prostitutes on it. Yeah, ironic because my high school was on OB- OBT, but let's be on the point. Fucking, well, that's the thing. There's a, OBT is very long. Yeah, it's like a there's like a like it's like a twenty mile road or some shit like that. It's like a super long road, but there's like three or four miles yeah. that I know people like. It's, it's like a real schoolyard diss. Like I yeah. remember being in middle school and people oh, being I heard like, it all the "Oh, your time. mama walks down OBT." Oh yeah, oh your mom gonna come and you, pick and you up the, from OBT. And like the first time you hear it, it's like, "What the fuck does that mean?" And then you Google yeah. it, and then it's just everyone's like, "Prostitute found on OBT." Uh, uh, pro, uh prostitution ring me, busted. Fifty three. Like, I don't know what you're yeah. talking about. And someone's like, "They're calling you a prostitute," or they're saying that your mother is a prostitute. Yeah, yeah. And so I was just like, "Whoa, whoa, what? Some real Orlando shit? <laughs> yeah. That's some real that Orlando like, shit." Yeah. <laughs> what? A, okay, okay. That was crazy. Cause like we got off track. Sorry, I fucking. was just like, "That's a fucking, that's a, that's a 
prime Orlando speaking, okay, situation. Speaking of real Orlando shit, let's talk about every single one of these accidents yes, right. that almost happened. Right, I'm sorry real. because I no, no that's because, also some real Orlando. Because shit. okay, I want to talk about the last one that happened uh, because that one fucking scared me. Because there was a guy. Okay, we were stuck at a remember. light. We were yeah. stuck at a light, and we were like slowly moving up because like everyone was turning left for some reason. Yeah, fucking, it's a two way, two lane road, and some guy next to us fucking slams on their brake. They're like in a white uh, Dodge. Okay. And the guy behind him like stops. Like it's almost like a brake check. And the guy gets out of his fucking car to oh, yell yeah. at the guy behind him. Yeah. And I couldn't make out what he was saying, but I could see him in my rear view, like fucking cursing him out and shit. And the and white then, Dodge or in the other one? The white Dodge, yeah. The white Dodge guy came out and fucking... The one that did the brake check? Yeah, I think so. What the fuck? Yeah, that doesn't even make any so, sense. Okay, there's a guy in a white Dodge. He's slams on the brake stops and then yeah. yells at the guy behind him and then speeds up into his development like and like like with those tires like screeching yeah. like made no fucking sense and yeah, like i was it like make any damn sense. i was like what the fuck just happened because I, I was watching too like it seemed like everyone was just driving normally yeah you'd think it would be the guy brake checks the guy behind him and then the guy gets out and is like what the fuck are you no, trying yeah, to that guy didn't even come out he just like, stayed there you know scam me for insurance money or something like that which i don't i don't know if i have to describe this but there is like a weird fear and it's probably been instilled to me by my parents and i don't know how true this is mm. but apparently like People just drive with guns in their cars here, apparently. I don't no, know if you I believe ever, it. You yeah. believe it? Okay, I believe cool. it for sure. Yeah, so like anytime I see someone get out of their car, I'm like, oh, fuck, it's happening. Yeah, it's gonna, gonna, someone's going to get shot around us, shot. for sure. Yeah. yeah. God. Just crazy people. Just fucking, I mean, you know, you live in Florida, especially now with the, um, I mean, growing up, I'd never felt like that. No, I feel it now for sure. Now Way the, more. You don't need a license, gun license, you know, you can close, you know, you don't have to close carry is permitted you don't need a permit yeah it doesn't really matter that the amount of nazis around here is kind of you know yeah it's getting worse yeah, yeah. It's getting bad yeah please get us out of here everybody yeah uh but yeah no like literally though like so i remember that one specifically because just i was like oh this is it's this is i'm never going outside ever again yeah that's kind of how it is isn't it yeah in the middle of the day and it's gonna get worse when summer comes on because oh, everybody God. goes fucking insane yeah because yeah, the, the heat, heat makes everyone yeah. fucking insane yeah. and like we're only in spring and it was maybe 85 degrees when we went out yeah and people are still acting like this so that's a that's a problem yeah like wait till it gets to 100 you know oh, over 100 god yeah god damn, everyone's gonna, gonna be cranky be, and know. annoying and yeah yeah it's just yeah. a different type of crazy. Every city's pretty much the yeah. same. Oh, there was a guy that fucking on a motorcycle just swerved into the left lane and almost got hit. No, it wasn't the guy on the motorcycle. Oh, okay. It was the car. So there was a, we were at a light and we were turning or no, we weren't turning. We were going straight. And the guy next to us was turning right and a motorcycle had the right of way. Oh, so yeah. the motorcycle was going and the car drifted into the left lane oh yeah and had the motorcycle guy not stopped he would have fucking died probably probably yeah god that was not a good one also during that time too i found out uh i realized that one of the cars in front of us just, oh, had, yeah, a had, just had a flat tire, tire. I was just, driving, I was with just driving with it and then got on the fucking highway <laughs> and i was behind him i was like i'm gonna die here this is this is it yeah <laughs> There's like there's a we watched Northern was, Lion recently talk about his um Orlando his Orlando experience, experience cuz he went on a Disney cruise and uh he was talking about how the Uber driver that drove him to his hotel was eating macadamia nut nuts with yeah. one hand and uh driving with the other hand which yeah i mean listen who hasn't driven and eaten in this fucking city i've Real. done it all right but one time i watched an Uber driver um drive his little car and he was making a protein shake with his other hand. No, really? Yeah, he was like fully, he had the powder and he put it in and he had like liquid in the thing already. <laughs> and then he closed it and was shaking it and was doing this whole thing. I would pull over if I was that involved with it. Like even that's where, that's where my limit is, you know? And then also keep in mind, everyone else is driving <laughs> in a, a completely erratic way. Yeah, you gotta so be like locked in with the craziness to be able to drive yeah, well. It's, it's, in I don't like it. It, it's, it takes, it drains me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
I remember too, and I think I've realized I've avoided a lot of that specifically because when I was going to college and I was driving for like hours at a time, I was driving at not peak periods. And you were kind of going around I was driving too. the opposite. Yeah. So yeah. like even when I drove on the 417 at like five in the afternoon, I was heading towards Orlando and towards Valencia as opposed to everyone coming back. Yeah. I got really lucky with that, but That's like kind of the bullshit of the uh, transportation that we have here. Because then, if you're on a highways, people are still going to be crazy. Oh, for sure, yeah. Specifically on I four, but but like, oh yeah, Jesus. Don't even talk to me about I four. Um, don't even talk to me before I had my fucking I four. I four. Um, but no, it, especially on highways, people are still going to act crazy. But it's not yeah. going to be as start and stoppy and ch- and absolutely goddamn insane is if you're just driving on the damn street yeah and so part of it is like you might be you might be safer on the highway maybe sometimes yeah but like in a weird way in a weird way i don't i'm not i'm joking don't yeah. take this as any like you'd only drive on driving highway right, yeah i knew but you had to that pay money to be uh, to be enough. safe yeah essentially yeah. pretty much yeah so weird what a weird city it's so Fuck strange this place it's <laughs> awesome it's amazing. There's a part of it that's just amazing. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. So, I don't know how to bring this home, we I guess. We didn't have a fucking earthquake. That is true. Hey, you know, there was an earthquake apparently in Florida in 2007, and I swear to fucking God I felt it, and like no one else felt it. I don't think it was here. Really? In 2007. Okay. I think it was in Atlanta, yeah. Never mind. Okay. But I remember like at some I point. I was in Atlanta. No, the earthquake was here. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. So I didn't, I, I didn't feel okay, it. Okay. But I, I don't know. Like it was like 2007, 2008. There was like a really minor earthquake and I remember feeling it. And like, I, I remember too, cause I was like, um, I was in a two story house at the time and I was on the stairs and I felt the shaking. And I was like, mm. you guys fucking feel that? Like, what the fuck was that? I might've heard about it on NPR cause, uh, Paula Poundstone did a really funny joke on wait, wait, don't tell me. Oh yeah. They're, they were talking about some earthquake in the news. Hmm. And um, she was like, she said, like, oh, that's why my cats are puffed up. <laughs> and I think joke. about that every time I hear an earthquake. But yeah. it, it's around. I remember hearing that around the time. I listened to Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me around that year. Oh, uh, okay. So it might have been about that. Damn. I don't know. Interesting. Hell, earthquakes, you know. I love, why, the, uh... I love all the posts about um. The, like, I survived the New York City earthquake. Yeah, I saw a bunch of just people, like, oh, the damage, and it was, like, a pillow on the ground and, like, a salt shaker oh, yeah, tipped I over. Saw it. Yeah, yeah it so Good funny. Good shit. Good stuff. Um, but, yeah, no, I like pinball. Is my I main like pinball, point. too. <laughs> I looked at, okay, I looked up, I found r slash pinball. Oh, no, okay. Which is really good. And um, th- it was an article that said, like, uh, how to build a pinball machine in 4,364 steps. <laughs> And it was a like a that's a obviously satirical or joking title. Yeah, where it's like it's just incredibly complicated. And I guess probably yeah. Yeah, to build a pinball machine, but people do do it as a hobby, and they oh, have I like bet. conventions yeah. where they go and they make intricate like custom themed pinball machines. So mm. like it'll be like it'll have like memes in it or like videos and like different audio custom audio that'll play. Yeah, this shit sounds fucking fun. It does sound like fun. Yeah. All right. All right. I have a segment. You have a segment. I, I didn't. I prepared. Oh, shit. At least for 30 minutes before for this segment. I'm proud of you. I'm Thank you. Did you. It. <laughs> so we got a coffee um, a couple weeks back where someone said you should do the three star rating thing that they do with their boyfriend. Yeah. I love Google reviews a lot because they're always unhinged. <laughs> yeah. They really always are. We uh we read a couple when we were doing... um. Uh, reviewing the Sandman, the first season yeah, of Sandman. Yeah, we were looking specifically at, um, which I think is always fun. I don't know why we don't do that, because it's work and I don't want to do work. Well, because like, that one specifically, there was a lot of really funny Google oh, reviews yeah, from I remember. Christians that were really mad that yeah. the concept of death was portrayed by a black woman. Yeah, because it's too woke. Yeah. yeah, and that there were devils in it. Ooh. Whoa! Wow! <laughs> yeah, they were really upset about that. Yeah. A lot of them weren't even upset about the diner episode, which is the most controversial one, which was also toned down from what I've. Yes, yeah, it but was. Like, also, like that was still pretty. It was pretty. Yeah, it's supposed to be sh- a shocking part of that. Yeah, the first um, kind of act of that story, and um, or the it's not the first act, but you know the first kind of arc in Sandman, the first yeah. storyline, and it's supposed to be shocking and it's supposed to be. Um, 
an interesting portrayal of like, you know, the human experience if you are not allowed to lie and how we lie to each other and things like that. Yeah. But of course, the it, it had a lot of sex and a lot of gay, a lot of sex and a lot of gay and a yeah. lot of stuff in it and, mo- and moida. And uh, um, a lot of no moida the murder, and gay honest, yeah. and sex. And so the Christians were upset about it. And it was really yeah. funny. So so I was like, I want to do this, but I want to do it with Google reviews. And then I was like, well, there's not really a good way that I can do this in my 30 minutes of preparing. Yeah. <laughs> to, to find a three star so review. So you found a shortcut is what I'm hearing. I went to, I Googled <laughs> funny Google reviews. Is what I did. <laughs> I found r slash. Google reviews. And so then I went to top and I went to all of all so this time. Is all time. All right. That's fair. The top host of all time. Of I, slash Google reviews. Real quick. I just want to say go us for not immediately. Like when we started doing Reddit, like do the all time. Oh, I know, yeah. Like, yeah, like we can still, you know, <laughs> it's taken us what three years now before we went to a subreddit and did the top all of all time. Well, you we've know? done that before. I think oh, we have. I'll go fuck myself. I'm pretty sure we have, but I mean, we weren't going to do that with Am I the Asshole or like Ask Reddit or something. Yeah, I think that's a little, yeah. I mean, there are really classic stories out there, like the guy that broke both of his arms and then his mom started sucking his penis. (laughs) Or uh, the fucking... um, Yeah, we've heard those a thousand times. I want to hear the new shit, you know? Exactly. Putting a Jolly Rancher in your pussy. Yeah, and then getting the gonorrhea. (laughs) Yeah. Or whatever it was. Yeah, you know, whatever the fuck it was. We've all heard it. Yeah. Let's talk about like... Waffle Stomp. God. Classic. Okay. All right. But Classic okay. shit. Okay. Google it if you don't know it. Don't, <laughs> don't if Google you're underage. <laughs> don't do it if you're underage. And if you're underage, why are you watching this? Just don't watch this show. show this is not for you. Kid. This is don't Get out of stop here. watching this. So I have a couple. They're pretty quick because they're Google reviews. Okay, that's fair. We're just gonna go through them. See, now it's my job to uh, elongate the process. You know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the title of this post is "Found This in the Reviews for a Local Restaurant." Okay. Four stars, and the entire review is water not get. <laughs> water not get. And then there's an update. <laughs> Why? <laughs> update got my water and is good. <laughs> and I guess that was updated to four stars. Okay, so whole water not get is really yeah. Okay. We got. I gotta dissect this now. I don't think I there's don't. that much in there. I'm no, there's a lot. Okay, so did so. Are there people out there that are not that, getting their water, and no, then they eventually no, got it? No, because this is the thing, right? You wrote that review in the middle in of the your middle order. Of your- <laughs> That's really That's funny. why I'm fucking here, Sarah. <laughs> yeah, I'm here is. to I'm here to fucking think. Yeah, I kind no. of underestimated yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go fuck myself. No, okay. So wait, hold so hold okay. Okay. So you water, water not, get. not get. So okay, water that not also get. Implies, he didn't get his water. No, okay, I'm psychoanalyzing. I'm sweets, okay? Update. Got I got water. my water. Got water. And is good. And is good. Which hey, maybe the water could have been bad. But like, okay. It could have you been. so okay. Were you like okay? <laughs> there is a lot of layers. There's this a, not gonna because like also you rushed the first half, but not the update. So yeah, it's like you had to get it out. He's did, a man of his word, though. He did update the stars, probably. Probably. So maybe it was like one star. Okay, hold one on. One star, no water, not good. Hold on a second. Did did this guy think? And this is speculation. But by putting a review on Google, that he would get, get his, his water quickly. Water. Like someone's in like there someone monitoring. Someone at the, the office is just a twenty four seven monitoring. Like, yeah. Or like they get the Google alert where it's like someone left a review. Yeah. And it's like table twenty seven or whatever didn't get their water. water not get. And then <laughs> and then you make eyes across the across the room in this fucking pizza place with the <laughs> yeah. with the laminated menus, and you're like. All right, I'm good. Okay, all right, I'm and then you put the water, and then he's like, "Oh, it's good, dude." Can you? Oh, God, you're typing out that review quickly because you see your uh, your waiter or waitress fucking uh, <laughs> pouring yeah. the water, and it's like, Power "I haven't got it yet." Typing the review, putting the phone down, and then staring directly into the manager's like waiting, eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you have to rush to write that? Like, yeah, exactly. Because yeah, like, <laughs> you had to convey it in as few words as possible mm-hmm. to type it out. <laughs> Water not get. Water not get. Which and also is didn't good. get water would also take the same amount of time, I guess, and still three words. But 
I mean, I don't know. I don't know. That's I'm not weird. gonna speculate on why this man isn't isn't uh, getting his water <laughs> or typing know. out quickly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Let's not spend that much time on the rest no, of these. Fuck you. Because we got like six of them. Good. <laughs> okay. I wanted that was only like two minutes. Come on. Okay. This is uh the the title of this one is M, <laughs> and then uh it's one star. Okay. The manager is a douchebag. He's ignorant and immature. He yelled at me for clearing my throat. Like, I don't have the right to do so. <laughs> Argued with me in front of everyone because I cleared my throat. He even threatened to call the cops, all caps, because I cleared my throat. I don't believe you. Mind if all I did was clear my throat. But, uh, okay. But did you actually just Stop clear- comment on Google reviews. Just get a new throat. <laughs> Bazinga. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, so, I don't believe you. I just don't believe in that. Uh, are, you, are you saying this one's rage bait? Huh? You're the saying Google that review. Google review no, is rage I think, bait. No, I think no. Okay, in the in the Reddit story uh, lexicon, TMC and R. Mm-hmm. Uh, fucking, I I would be like more info needed. So what else happens in that? Because okay, listen, you can't. You're the asshole, not the asshole. Everybody's shitty here. No asshole. That's here my this. mindset, and you this is when I come in this it. room. You can't. Well, I sit in this chair, my asshole chair. It's you know, it's it's not an asshole <laughs> chair, but now we need to get one for sure. Yeah. Next one, one <laughs> okay. star. Never heard of it. <laughs> so you're rating something just because you never never heard, heard of, it. of it. Apparently, that I believe. <laughs> this I is a Mexican believe. restaurant in Princeton, uh, Minnesota. Dude also did this for four other restaurants in Minnesota. The plot twist is going to be he doesn't even live in Minnesota. Yeah. Dude, could you just? Why is there no checks on Google to should, like? Yeah, there should be to more be regulations. Like your IP, your IP address <laughs> should be like if you're okay. Because if you're like buying a, a VPN to like write fake reviews in a different place at that point, you've earned it. What's but, like, interesting is it's actually the opposite. Google will prompt you to review a place that you're in the vicinity of. There was another one that someone posted that they were like, "I've never been here, but I have lunch across the street from this place." Every day. See, that's interesting. And Google keeps asking me to review it, so I hope that if I leave this review, it'll shut Google up. That makes sense, because I know um Google... Because, like, there's also the Google, uh like, rewards thing, where, like, you do, like, a survey in, like, 10 seconds, and you get 10 cents or whatever. Yeah. And, like, fucking, it always is, like... It's either, like, super accurate, where it's like, oh, did you go into Wawa at 5.53 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> to get a coffee, and we have your receipt. Can you upload your receipt, please? Maybe I'm just too fucking cool, um, but I've never <laughs> experienced this at all. I've, I feel like maybe someone else is living on a separate reality from me, because Google has never prompted me to review a location that I've been I've and I now have it. the Google phone, so I don't. Yeah, like you have not, a. Yeah, that's, everything is Google is Google in my life. So and still somehow they haven't. Somehow I haven't. Google's like, let's not bother her. She's too awesome. For yeah, her. I wonder. <laughs> that's interesting because I've definitely gotten it before. I don't think I've ever done one because I've just cleared it away. Well, next time you see it, just one star. Never heard of it. Okay, fair. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um, this one's great. It's a uh, one star. Uh, the food is burned, and I found a hair in my food. I ask for no rice, and she puts rice in it. I found out six months later, her and her daughter was sleeping with my husband. They also <laughs> pretend that what? they don't speak English, but a lot of them do. <laughs> Whoa. Lots to unpack. That, okay, Lots to unpack let's go sentence one. by a sentence real quick. Okay, so let's start off with the not issue. <laughs> that that. Oh, what? That she's sleeping with her husband? <laughs> 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 yeah, it's not an issue at all. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I'm sorry. I can't get over that they, even though a lot of them do, is doing so much heavy lifting right now that it's giving me an aneurysm. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, listen, I'm not, listen, no one deserves to get cheated on except for when you're racist and you're this woman. Yeah, I think actually on second thought, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so, Josh, and, Josh, ago. Josh and Post, just to please remember to censor that when that happens. Yeah. Please. Don't fuck that one up, Josh. That, Who okay. gives a shit? Can I read it? Can I re- okay? Can I like uh, like look at it real quick? I'm gonna okay. Yeah. I, okay, I want to. I'm gonna read. I mean, okay, you're gonna see all of the typos that I didn't. The food is okay. I'm gonna leave in the typos and this ellipses mm-hmm. and comma. The food is burned, and I found a, I found a hair in my food. I asked for no rice. I asked for no rice, and she puts rice in it. I found out six months later, her and her daughter. Wa- 
Okay, hold her on. And her, her and her daughter. daughter. Okay, let's okay, let's stop there for a second. Both. What? <laughs> I'm not saying that couldn't happen necessarily, but I'm sure it has. Uh, I've seen videos. <laughs> I've seen, <laughs> yeah, I've, I've seen m- documentaries. I've seen the internet. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, so okay, here's my okay, here's my conspiracy because mm-hmm. okay, conspiracy brain. No, well, neither of these are both true. The Google reviewer. <laughs> Fuck you! I have to censor that again. <laughs> so okay, okay, hold on. Okay, one of those is okay. This is like a this is like the guard, like the you come across two guards, one's telling the truth, one's a lie. Both of these can't be r- oh, true. You, sh- you think she's trickle truth? I think I think one of these is real and one of these is fake, and I can't tell which. Probably one's- no rice, rice. You <laughs> think uh, the rest? Is bullshit? Yeah. I, I, I think it would be hilarious if it was the sleeping with the husband was part. Was the real thing. And then, and then she was like, l- and I bet those fuckers speak English. <laughs> and I bet, and I, and you know what? I asked for no rice, too. And they, I'm they thinking gave about me it. rice also. And they burnt, and I found a hair in it, bitch. I wasn't expecting that left turn of like the the uh, that also that these two bitches are fucking my husband. Yeah, you wouldn't. I, uh, okay. She's a masterful writer. <laughs> yeah, really better than M Night Shyamalan. I will say. Whoa, damn, going there. Master um, of, of um twists, yeah. twists and turns. Because like, okay, I want. Okay, I'm gonna assume that it's not the sleeping the the two women sleeping with your husband. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna assume it's that there was a hair in your food, so you wanted to accuse her of, of sleeping, sleeping with, your with your husband. husband. Or the alternative, which we, uh, I guess, yeah, is that she slept with her husband, but you have to find a way to also make sure no one eats there. Yeah. You have to lie about a hair in the food and getting rice when you didn't ask for a rice. Which is so... It's just weirdly Or this specific. is a 12 year old completely or is, lying. Or this is a tw- people lie on the internet? <laughs> what? Who would do that? <laughs> I, on the internet I'm just like, lies? I'm just like, God, I remember, God, I, I've, I've, listen, I've also left reviews and I'm going to go delete them after this, but fucking. I once left a very famous review for a hand, um, a ceramic hand crank for um, coffee beans. And oh, yeah. I, it was just two words, all caps three exclamation points and it was the best because <laughs> i would hand crank my coffee beans in college dude that was that's fucking cool as hell actually that's the that only was. amazon review i've ever given <laughs> i i keep getting uh i remember okay mm-hmm. i i i keep getting uh, do you also get this i don't know if you do because i sometimes throw it out before it gets here do you have you ever gotten the when you buy shit on amazon and you buy it from some random company they send you like a weird little pamphlet a- pamphlet after the fact where it's like hey thank you for buying uh, in my cases, it's been uh, two, uh, times, a maybe? sex toy and um, okay. Uh, why would you do out. that with sex toys, man? Yeah, why is it like, hey, can you leave a review of your you, sex toys? You want to yeah. be discreet. Yeah, I want to be a little discreet. And it was something I bought recently. Oh, headphones! I bought okay. the two genders: sex toys, <laughs> sex and, toys headphones. and headphones. Is yeah. Like, yeah, and both of them was like, hey, we'll give you a ten dollar Amazon gift card if you leave a review. And I'm like, why? Huh. Why would you give me half of the money that I spent on your <laughs> sex toy and headphones? Yeah, you're right. Why do, are you? Do you think you're I'm gonna twenty dollars think... sex toys, Josh? Because listen, they work. Okay. <laughs> yeah, for two fucking minutes. Damn. damn. I don't know why uh, we're this... adults. We can spend more money on our <laughs> sex toys. Listen, I I don't make fleshlight money yet. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, I get it. I don't I don't have enough money to buy a plastic encased uh fake pussy. Patreon.com forward slash <laughs> abwsdr. Thank you, Sarah. I appreciate it. Yeah, oh, get us to real doll money. Get my boy out of squalor. You know what I mean? Fuck. I gotta get the <laughs> I gotta get the dollar store fleshlight. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a secret a, back room in your dollar store. It's just a hole. It's just a. It's just a, one of those. It's just two sponges. A cardboard in a, box with, um, with uh, two sponges in it. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, a rubber the glove. Just the rubber glove. Yeah. <laughs> and Vaseline. Or and whatever. then they, then the dollar store tells me, "Hey, I'll give you fifty cents if you leave a review of our dollar <laughs> of our dollar <laughs> dollar store sex toy." Yeah. Someone in college told me I should okay. get into product selling. 
Dude, okay, I will say though, I'm now yeah. remembering this too. I got multiple from the sex toy one, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Are they it. trying to get They're you like kicked to get out of your cut. parents' house <laughs> yeah, or something? It's like, like dude, Jesus uh, Christ. The whole point. A little I, discretion here, man. A little bit, yeah. God damn. The only people that should know that I bought a sex toy is the poor you Amazon worker yeah. <laughs> that packaged it, the seller, me, and God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's it. Those are the only four people on this planet that should know. <laughs> One time, my friend, who was a real bro at the time, uh, my friend, <laughs> I had bought a sex toy off of Amazon, but at the time, our mail was going to um, a separate like location. Like You had to get in a car and drive to the mailbox. Oh, really? Because everyone kept stealing our fucking mail. Oh, yeah. And um, it was delivered to that place, and you would get a little ticket, and then you would go to the front, and then they would give you your package. Oh, yeah. I was still with my mom at the time. Oh, God. If so, she had gotten it and opened... Oh, well, Jesus. I had thought it would be delivered right to my door at a time frame where I would only be at the house. Yeah. So I had it delivered, but it went to the mailbox because it was small enough to fit in the mailbox. And I was like, oh, shit. Oh, no. So I had to have my friend drive me to the mailbox oh, i had to do like a fucking a uh, secret like i had to get the key from my mom somehow for the mailbox oh my god i had to go to the mailbox open the mailbox get the thing but then the guy was closed it was closed to get the the thing oh my god and if my mom had gone gotten another package the next day she, she would have gone fucking... up and he would have given her the package and my mom has also been weirdly weird about my privacy too yeah i bet she would have she opened, it, opened yeah. it for sure i will say thankfully my parents never opened anything i got dude cause... i had a really traumatic situation where i had ordered like makeup brushes as a kid oh, off of like shit. ebay or something and my mom made me open it in front of her oh my god because she was like well oh, but she wanted, I would never she make was someone like, open something in front of me that's crazy because she was making fun of me because i had never like worn makeup before and and really it had if i had done anything girly she was kind of making fun of me for doing it Mm. Or even trying to do it, and I was like thirteen or something. So, Jesus. And now I don't wear makeup. Wonder why? Um, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. um, yeah. So fucking, I was like, I can't. This can't happen. <laughs> this can't happen. So then, my friend, who was a real fucking bro, drove me again the next day awesome, during dude. the time. And um, but it was hilarious because the day before, when it was closed, we were walking up there, and there was this like one-eyed black cat. Huh. That was sitting like next to us, and like we basically we had turned around, and it was this weird fucking cat, and then straight up like a janitor, like walked up and was like, "Yeah, you guys are trying to get your mail." Yeah. <laughs> and we were like, "Yeah, yeah." And he's like, "Oh, it closes at four And he goes, "Yeah, you like that cat right there? There's a bunch of them around here." And we were all of a sudden in this strange, like... Little situation of, like... Like, what would happen in a horror movie right before any of the action dude, gets started. I, yeah. And we were like, we're gonna leave. This yeah, place I'm is out sketchy of here. as hell. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to do this Dude, I remember anymore. that, too, because, yeah, my, I also had a similar thing at my old uh, house that I was living in. Fucking, mm -hmm. uh, we couldn't trust the mail drop-off at the, like, little clubhouse place, yeah, so yeah. we had to get a P.O. box. There were a few times I had to go like late. I went late at night to grab stuff, mm. and like I, thankfully, like my mom never like opened packages because if she did, fuck. But like fucking yeah, I mean I think it's you. You shouldn't open other people's no, mail. No, for sure, yeah, it's a crime. Yeah, <laughs> but it is fucking, a crime for a reason. Yeah, yeah, but like a uh, fucking. There were a few times I had to do it at night, and it was like uh, I didn't do the PO box that was like in our actual city. There was like a, a closer PO box that was out somewhere else. Mm-hmm. And you probably remember this too because this was by the Nazi house. Oh yeah, we would pass by the Nazi house. Yeah, it was not fun going there at night because then like lots it was of like, Nazis here in Orlando. Yeah, not great. Not but, like, fun. Fucking uh, literally though, like um, dude, like going to that PO box and like knowing that it was like three, like it was like these, uh, all the lights were like super dim around that area, and it was mm -hmm. like in the middle of a forest, and like there's just no, there's only like a hundred people in that area, and it's like no one else for like miles, and it's like. I don't want to be here at night ever again, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not fun. No. I do remember. That was pretty terrifying, too. God. Yeah. Fucking don't don't live in Kissimmee. <laughs> don't do it. Get out of there. If you're listening to Kissimmee, here. get out right now. I don't even, yeah. How do we get here? I'm sorry. I, know, I didn't realize that, that was going to be, a, okay, next one. <laughs> All right. Five stars. Ooh, okay, good one. I feel like this should be my restaurant due to my ex calling me a bad daddy all the time. 
What? Despite this, the burgers definitely taste better than my ex's cooking. Hey, Karen, <laughs> if you're reading this, you can go to hell. Is the restaurant called Big Daddy's or I have something? No idea. Why is or Bad Daddy's? No idea. Why would it's not why included would, in the post? <laughs> why is that? Uh, more info, please. No, okay. Oh wait, so, yes, it is. It's, it's apparently a chain called Bad Daddy's. Bad Daddy's, yeah. What a okay. So that's okay. It's either fake or this guy Probably thinks fake. he's being creative. <laughs> it sounds like one of those like a fucking fifteen year old, sixteen year old that thinks they're funny. Yeah, me. <laughs> Perpetually Fuck until uh, until the day I die. All right. Okay. This one, his name is a big cock. So a sixteen year old. Yeah. Or a sixteen year old that made their account when they were sixteen, yeah. and then now they're thirty five and stuck in and, hell forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that. Let's go with that. <laughs> Better. Yeah. Four stars. Luck. <laughs> Luckily for me, my aunt died. She left money for my kid. I took my children's money and played oh. roulette with it. I was down all but a small amount. I wanted it all back and broke even. It was a better night than when my kid was born. <laughs> and I hope a better night than when your fucking aunt died or whatever. What? Wait, okay. But so- it, it's only four stars. <laughs> it's just funny as fuck. So, okay. What's, what's you had a, f- a great time. But had a great time. Only a was, four star. It was better than your kid being born. So, was it your kid being born only a three star? A three bagger? Is that what that means? We should be rating... Um, yeah, your childbirth. Your, your, yeah, we, there should be an app for that, like a meow meow. Dude, I should I should text my sister right now. Hey, on a scale of one to five, what what was it like? Uh, what, how was your birth? The day of your birth? <laughs> the, yeah, this could be better. Could have been better. Yeah. Fucking. Uh, okay. This next oh, so one. Wait, okay, I'm sorry. I'm not realizing yeah, that was a okay, casino. Okay, okay. So this is a casino. You. He's reviewing. You're reviewing. Okay, it also has to be fake because there's no way you ever break even on roulette. Fucking uh, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. So okay, hold on. So it's like that unironic me, the ironic meme of like, guys, if you just keep gambling, the yeah, next you one. you could never. Yeah. So you can never lose. So okay, hold on. You used the money from someone dying. If I'm not mistaken, I'm I'm trying to connect the dots here. That was meant to go to your kids, mm-hmm. and you, uh, someone with a gambling addiction, went Probably. to a casino. Yeah. And then decided lost to bet all, lost except it for all, a little bit, a little and then bit, you and broke somehow even. broke even at the, by the end of it. Fascinating. Okay, sorry, I'm just now realizing the chain of events that occurred in this scenario. So we're caught up. Yeah, I'm caught up now. Sorry. All right, next one. Now this is we have two of these where the owner is responding. Okay, good. To um, and we're it kind of paints a larger picture. I think yeah, I I do think it's a good thing too that owners can respond. Sometimes, because I do think there are bad actors, obviously. We're going to find out. Okay. One star. This place is a complete dump. Half of the tee-offs on the driving range don't have tees. The mini golf is tore to shreds. There's some fucking cracker. (laughs) Do (laughs) not spend a cent on this business. This place hasn't been refurbished in decades. Why do you need to... I mean, I guess I no. Actually, I'm not. I'm gonna, I was gonna say, why do you need to refurbish a golf course as long as the fucking? No, you probably you still do. I know. Yeah. Okay. So that are, this is the response. We had to kick this person off the premises because he refused to pay for mini golf after being caught. <laughs> wait, walking onto the course without paying. It was wait, a mini golf. Course. Wait, this is a mini golf course. Dude, pay the ten bucks. Like even I like imagine getting like handcuffed and escorted off premises and being like, this place is a fucking dumb fucking pirates off of a cove mini golf course. Like, come on, <laughs> yeah, right next to the fucking pirate shit. What like, are you doing, man, dude? Like, how okay, did your life get this way? You yeah, know? like how? What's going on? Did you, okay, we gotta wait. have a talk. So did baby. you like bring your own putt and ball as well? You like, just is there, started are you like one of? Bypassed the fifty dollars you had to pay for mini golf. I bought I bought my own putter and golf (laughs) ball so I could do this. So everything's fine, Your Honor. If it's here, it's public property. (laughs) Despite it being (laughs) behind a gate, and you have to go through the because, like, okay, hold on. Every mini golf place I've been to, the starting hole is behind like the little shack they have. You usually have like a gate or yeah, something. or like you have to like make eye contact with someone. Mm-hmm. So how do you sneak onto a mini golf course? Crouch. <laughs> you're crawling, sneak, sneak in there, <laughs> like you're fucking solid snake. Yeah. Like you're trying to yeah, get past put all a the cardboard box <laughs> over your head and sneak in. You get a cardboard box that says golf balls on it. Golf, and you just, 
golf. Like written in like, in mini, like golf. A, a mini golf. Mini golf. Uh, yeah. Like the F is backwards or something. And <laughs> totally regular box. <laughs> Like, what are you do? How do you Greg, do? Greg, I see you. Greg, stop it. You like, have to like, pay. We were watching, like, uh, we were watching Celebrity Hunters with uh, James A. Caster and Ed Gamble, and yeah. I was, like, thinking of, like, okay, there's a few things I can think of to get past and, like, get by, like, security cameras yeah, in general. Yeah, you immediately were like, I'm I know, buying I'm gonna, 10 I'm disposable buying, phones. I'm getting, getting $10,000 cash, yeah, cash. And I'm never using my Apple Watch, because that's how one of them got caught, idiots. Yeah, fucking <laughs> dumbasses. This is his wife's Apple Watch, I think. Yeah, fucking, yeah. No one I know needs to fucking... <laughs> yeah. But okay, so... So, but like, okay. Why do I... Now I feel weird, because I'm now saying all that, and I'm being like, but there's no way I can sneak onto a mini golf course. I feel like there's a human element to a mini golf mm -hmm. that is un unpassable. <laughs> <laughs> we should be putting gold behind mini golf courses, Murder. I think is what I'm saying. Murder yeah. the guy at the front of the <laughs> mini golf course, and then you run it. You own it now. Yeah, that's, that's King's the rules. rules. Thwart the gig, usurp, usurp him. yeah. <laughs> Just pay the ten bucks. I, like I mean, that's like it's not yeah, that it's, difficult. It's not that hard. Okay, <laughs> to be escorted off the premises. <laughs> okay, this one's really funny to me. It was the like okay, this is what we're doing. This was the one that sold it. Okay, for me. all right. Okay, a guy's name is Todd. I'm going to do his first name. It's important. Okay. Okay. Todd. One star. Service was awful. Food was great. Many items were not available. The service was so bad it was actually entertaining. So why'd you give it a one star then? I would give it five. I think there should there be negative stars on Google for like so bad it's There good. should at least be zero stars. I um, think there should be zero stars, yeah. This is a response from the owner. <laughs> okay. Hey Todd, go kill yourself. <laughs> No, no, really, really. <laughs> oh, I was so, this was like this was gonna be so good. No, oh, no, really. Hey, Todd, go kill yourself. <laughs> Why don't you try? Is it written with like an exclamation point no, too? It no, should be it's calm. It should be like it should have like a smiley face at the end of that. I feel like I don't know why. Like no, this guy's pissed. Okay, he's really right. he can't even muster up a fake passive okay. aggressive All smiley right, listen, face. Listen, okay, this man is pissed at you. You're you're okay. You Holy you brought this one in to cancel me because I'm gonna have a controversial opinion by the end of this one because you don't think I'm not siding with this guy. Oh man, I'm I mean, okay. Uh, you know, okay, let's continue. Huh. Let's, okay, let's see. Okay, hey, so Todd, far I'm on the I'm I get on to the say other my side. favorite sentence okay. three times. That's awesome. <laughs> hey, Todd, go kill yourself. Why don't you try opening your own place during COVID oh. era? Why don't you come and be a great server? There's plenty of people wanting to work now, huh? I hope people like you don't come back to my restaurant because you only care for yourself and not what others are going through. Have a nice life. <laughs> Go kill yourself. Have a nice life. Yeah, very. Pretty funny. Okay, you know, that was Have a, a nice that was life a weird... until you kill yourself, I guess, <laughs> is what he's trying to say. <laughs> It was a weird, okay, that was a weird dip right in the middle of, like, everyone wants to work this. Like, all right, you're losing me a little bit. Yeah, but then yeah. you brought it back up with the hits of live a li nice life. Okay. Guys, got to hear me out here. I'm totally on that guy's side. I'm sorry. <laughs> the customer is not always customer right. Customer is not always right, dude. You shouldn't tell people to kill I yourself. I think people and customers, themselves. I don't think you should be, I, okay, I don't, listen, I think it is genuinely bad this to the tell writings people. of a of a of a man that's pushed to the fucking limit. Okay, everyone, okay, I need a, all the background info you need of me. I worked in customer service for three years. No, same, yeah. I wish I, I could be like, the amount of times I've almost said it to someone. There's been plenty Holy of times shit. where I could think of genuinely like ge if there you, was one time uh, there was yeah. one time yeah there was this there was this lady at the pretzel stand and she wanted a cinnamon pretzel from this this stand right mm -hmm. and i handed her the pretzel mm -hmm. and she was like oh do you guys have the sweet glaze because you know the, the cum glaze whatever it was you know oh yeah and i was like oh i'm sorry we're out of it right now the anti and cum glaze she, yeah th she gets pissed off immediately and she <laughs> she does it in yeah. such a way of like well you know what take the pretzel back i don't want anything and then walks away and let's be honest here if i had one a year if, if you I had, had a gun you one shot year, year i would she'd be dead right yeah. now and just it, like into the air something the, to just take the edge off. did you have the audacity to be like i'm not eating this pretzel without fucking a dollar 36 worth of sauce yeah the sugary <laughs> sauce you're also like 
I don't want anyone else to eat this pretzel because once you hold it, I can't sell that to another person. You just wasted a pretzel. You could eat it if you wanted. I could have probably eaten it, but it was also middle of the day, so I couldn't have like saved it for later. Sadly, like it would have been hard to sneak it out. But yeah, so she not only committed the crime of wasting food, but also pissing me off, <laughs> and also ordering a pretzel at an inopportune time to have a yeah, pretzel. Exactly. Like, like if you it was wouldn't like... have even liked it anyway. You're eating sugar in the middle of the day. Yeah, it's not a good. <laughs> it's not fun. Yeah, great. Some people suck i don't know man i think just fucking suck like listen i don't think you should be telling people to kill themselves because the people that usually tell people to kill themselves are Are usually are the worst ones are the pieces of shit that just say that to hurt people however we gotta (laughs) we gotta people who have been bullied and been we need to take it back we need to reclaim that uh saying it's really difficult to be a good person when you're in the job of helping other people and just people not being grateful for help or yeah because you're seeing people at their most entitled aren't you yeah and that's all that's your whole day also that one star review said the food was good so i'm surprised that the service was bad but like i'm gonna be honest with you the service is bad i still think if the food's good i'll give it three stars i think that's yeah but you are kind of a like you're a person that like you'll be in the drive-thru and we'll get Taco Bell and like half the order is gone and they didn't get it right. And you will not tell them. I will. I will not go you back. You will do through. anything else other than tell I them. I will not. Don't you fucking Even dare. if it's not your money, if I'm paying for it, you won't. You're going to try to convince me to not get it's my okay. money's right. worth of Taco it's Bell. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I'm going to go tell those kids that are high on <laughs> fucking weed to fucking make my goddamn <laughs> five layer cheesy beefy burrito. And I'll wait 30 minutes. I don't, I'm not going to go up and be like, hey, guys, kill yourselves. I'm going <laughs> to go up to them and say, like, Can you please just get my hey, food right I a just, little bit. I yeah. just need a burrito. See, please. but I'm afraid of them telling me to kill myself. And most of the time, they're like, oh, sorry, fam. That and then true, that's yeah. it, you know? If you're nice. If there's a way to do it while being nice. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's just, I, I, I just don't want to talk to them. I know. I know you don't want to talk to people. Them. I know you're scared, honey. It's okay. I can't even make a phone call. <laughs> All right, so now we're at the game show segment. Okay, so this is the game show segment. Yeah, let me explain it. So I'm going to read to you everything that I see. And you have to guess the title or the generalized location. Oh, okay. Of what this is. Okay, gotcha. So it could be like library. Okay, and you don't like have to get general, the exact. Okay. There are some that you need. I can't do public library 73 in New yeah. York City. <laughs> there are some that you're going to get that you might get specifically okay but really even if you don't get it it's funny anyway so who cares okay got it yeah okay five stars my name is tommy so i left five star (laughs) gotta be a place called tommy's or something response from the owner hey thanks from one tommy to another we bet you're five stars too and then it was like it's the meme of the two hands clasping oh, yeah, and the... one says tommy and the other one says tommy <laughs> and then the middle of it says tommy no it says nothing in the middle why They've, not That's they the... got the meme wrong so what actually the fuck, yeah. dude so what do you think is the name of the it's restaurant probably fucking called tommy's or something tommy's <laughs> family restaurant you're right okay yeah, Yay, the, yeah we did it. no that's shit your, that's your intro one there you go. <laughs> that's the easy one the next one's gonna be like i had to do algebra and it's gonna be like the Empire State Building or something. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's gonna be yeah. some fucking bullshit. Yes, absolutely. Because you're a fucking asshole and you're yeah. trying to fuck me on this. Yeah, trying for to sure. fuck me on this. I am <laughs> trying to fuck you on this. Okay, so this uh, Google, the Google review, they only have five stars and one stars. And overall, they have 4.3 stars. Okay, so more fives than ones. Cool. Yeah. One review, five stars. Overall, great experience. Okay. Another review, one star. My son had killed his abusive father, and Robbie threatened both me and my son. Ro- okay, wait, hold on. Okay, hold on. So, great experience. Great overall, great experience. And then the second one is, uh, my son has killed his abusive father, and Robbie threatened both me and my son. <sighs> okay, so I there's two roads. Yeah, there's two wolves and inside a, of me. And two roads diverge in a yellow wood, right? So it's gonna because it, okay. See, uh-huh. the hint that I've been given is that it's not. Uh, it's how the fuck am I supposed to know what this is, right? Mm-hmm. So I think it's either. It's like if a, you get this, I'm gonna flip. It's either like a. It's okay. So it's either a restaurant. I don't know why I'm thinking restaurant. 
Okay. And I'm I'm monitoring your micro expressions because I watched Lie to Me. <laughs> and I can I can now I saw that. Am I doing the Bill Clinton shame face? <laughs> hmm. Um. Okay. Um. It's because I feel like it's got to be like an experience of something. Like it's got to be like a like a like a VR thing almost. You know what I mean? Where yeah. it's like you go in. Sure. It would be real. What? Say Shrek? No, I said sure. <laughs> the Shrek ride Shrek. at Universal Studios. <laughs> in the middle of you talking about Google reviews, Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, man? What the hell? The Shrek ride at Universal Studios yeah. is what I'm thinking now. Um, I miss it. I, I miss do miss that. it. Yeah. yeah. Um. Fuck. What could it be? Because it really, there's no. You just gotta. You gotta guess. What's the okay five star review again, just real quick? Overall great experience. Experience. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm I'm laser focused on the word experience. Okay, I'm gonna say this is a review for like a video game. I'm thinking. You know what? I'm gonna say video game. I'm oh, gonna so it's s- not a shop. It's not a place. Is it? Does it have to be a place? It does. I mean, I guess it doesn't. I mean, it could be. Like, you it's can review Google anything review. on the internet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you might be surprised. You can do anything on you the do internet. Anything. I'm going to say, I, I, th- I think you're trying to, all right, you know what? I'm going to say it is either a video game or a movie. That's what I'm going to say it is. Or it, it's Chuck E. Cheese. It's a leather repair shop. <laughs> so, okay, yeah. wait, hold. Okay. Overall great experience, five stars at the leather repair shop. One star, my son has killed his abusive father and Robbie threatened both me and my son. So that's just a random ass fucking review. Because what happens at the, unless he's, it's, is that the perspective from like the cows? Like, <laughs> right, RPing in <laughs> Google <laughs> reviews as a cow at the leather repair yeah. shop. And there's one cow that's a working cow against that, a kill his a, abusive kill. father, his yeah. abusive cow father. And then the tanner was like kind of mean to them about it. Me, not in front of me and my son. Not in front of me and my me son. Me and my foal. My calf. What? So, that's a. Uh, Okay. Yeah. All right. Next all right. One. Okay. All right. These are all places then. Okay. Good to know. Great. All right. Five stars. Five stars. If he says he has it, then you can count on Dan. His staff is very helpful as well. It's Dan's family restaurant now. <laughs> That's what it is. Three stars. Guy in backyard sucked me off for two hubcaps. His idea. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't mine. Oh, wow, it was I would not never, my idea. I would never, I, not, I would never have sex with a man. Ever. Let a man I'm, suck me off for two my own cap. volition. Yeah, Sports Town. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> what, <laughs> <laughs> the billiards place in Orlando, yes, Florida. Yes, that's what I'm thinking. Is it like a bar? It has to be like a bar with like an outdoor. It's an auto salvage yard. Oh, because of the hubcat. God, fucking. Why am I? St- Dude, it's people are getting <laughs> people are getting sucked off for two hubcaps at this auto salvage dude, yard. What, dude? Why am I going to Tires Plus I if I know. can get car replacements if I just let someone <laughs> suck me off, dude? I'd do that. Well, you, all, you you would do that, but you don't have any hubcaps. You're right. <laughs> Josh doesn't have any hubcaps no in his car. Hubcaps, yeah, the the tires place they felt bad for him. They took him off. They just took him off, and I got rimless fucking wheels now, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, God bless. <laughs> so, God. Why did I think, because I heard backyard, I immediately think sports town for some reason. I'm like, nowhere has a backyard here. No one said, oh, in in backyard. Guy in backyard sucked me off for two hubcaps. I don't know idea. why I thought that, because the only time I've been to sports town, I was, I was just out back, and the guy yelled at like the people I was with because they were smoking weed. <laughs> they, got a, they got a backyard of the Gringos Locos Tacos. They do? Okay, uh, sorry. I should have guessed Gringos district. Locos Tacos in the Milk District, Orlando, Florida, 32815. Yeah. Uh, all right, one. all right, okay. Okay, this is the last one. Four stars. Okay. This one's very long, and I wonder actually if it's going to be funny. Okay, all right. This is a good experiment. Good time to experiment here. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I'm the last one. Yeah, yeah exactly. Great. Yeah. Once Perfect we've gotten time. the once we got the formula down, let's switch to it switch up. Switch it up at the Much last like moment. Like a new Coke, I think this will work out. <laughs> yeah. I said that because we did the time capsule episode of Bones where they unveiled the new thinking, Coke. I don't think about Bones all the fucking time. Yeah, you do. Four Shut stars up. gave four stars because while the service and food were a real delight, 
The manager that looks like Rick from Pawn Stars was constantly talking loudly around us into his earpiece like he was in the CIA. While moving okay. tables and chairs around, he was barking out bullshit about converting <laughs> metrics on five apples, five ounces, which sounded like code for human trafficking intentions. What? Oh my god! Can we Ooh, stop this? We're can only we halfway through. Can we? St- no. Okay, hold on. Can we stop this like fear mongering? Like, okay, human trafficking is a real thing. It does happen. It does happen, but it doesn't happen the way where it's someone uses code word apple to mean. <laughs> five-year-old boy yeah i think i think it's a little more hush hush when it comes to the the csi effect you know what i mean yeah exactly um after i loudly commented on it i could tell he got the point as he peered at me from around the corner like he was casing the joint to steal all the delicious hash brown casserole each time i would look up at him he would quickly, quickly pretend not to be staring at me, as I assume he does around dressing rooms in department stores. What are you doing? You're describing so much. I did enjoy my meal, as much as someone could in this scenario. But this guy needs to go. If he needs to feel important, he should buy a trophy for himself. Oh, God. Jesus. Guess where that was. And this is a named location. It's an, okay, is it a brand that I know? Yes. I don't know why I'm getting, like... Cracker Barrel vibes. Cracker Barrel old country knew store. It. I fucking knew Hash it. Hash brown casserole. You did I it. I didn't even think about the casserole. I'm just thinking about the cadence and this is spoken and like... I will say every time I go to Cracker Barrel, I feel like people are staring at me weird. Not the people that work there. The other people that enjoy yeah. Cracker Barrel. <laughs> What's this fucking goth doing in this fucking... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are they all wearing black? <laughs> yeah, and I don't even dress goth. I just have a lot of black clothing. Yeah, literally, yeah. Yeah. I, I, wow, I'm surprised I got that on the money. But, like, fucking... Okay, because, like... I'm glad you got one. <laughs> I got two. I got Tommy's. Oh, yeah, you got Tommy's. All but right. Tommy's was a gimme. <laughs> and to be fair, the amount I did of times say I said sports. Tommy was insane. It was four times, Twice. and that's insane. <laughs> Okay, but okay, so mm-hmm. why? Okay, you know what? On second thought, now I get the human trafficking. I do think human trafficking <laughs> happens at Cracker yeah, Barrels. Right, yeah, no, never you mind. I kind of, if I kind of get I, that. If you had to this press regard, me hard for listen, where human I don't, trafficking I don't happens, believe in it's whatever in a that Cracker Barrel. Sound of Freedom, stupid ass <laughs> movie was, but I do believe. But if they placed it in a Cracker Barrel, I would one hundred percent believe it. I was it. gonna say, I was like, I hope we don't get any hate comments about the fucking how little we know about human trafficking. Well, listen, I, I know it's a problem, but it, I. I but you're right. The sound of freedom bullshit is. That's what it I'm talking bullshit. about. That's what I mean when I say, "Can we all calm down about it?" Because I get so many fucking TikToks yeah. of white guys in their trucks <laughs> just being like, "Why is no one watching this shitty movie? That's garbage." That's <laughs> 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 like because it's a shitty movie. Because it's garbage. garbage. Yeah. That's about. <laughs> Why would I pay money to see propaganda? Yeah. yeah. Like, come on. That's you're supposed not... to shove it in my face for free. God damn. Jesus. Can we can we actually take human trafficking seriously and not make a weird caricature of itself? Yeah, okay, yeah. I That's see. what I mean. That's what I'm angry about when I see that. It shouldn't and also like weird white savior ass fucking And then in one breath they're gonna be like, I love Andrew Tate, the yeah, human you know, trafficker. The, the human fucking trafficker, yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Again, now that's in Cracker Barrel, though. Yeah, hundred percent. One hundred percent. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Probably does look. Anyone around. that owns a Cracker Barrel was on Epstein's flight logs. I think that's. I think it's a fact. I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I know people like their food. At some point, they had a resurgence and like Apparently, young people. And I, like listen, their- I would want to try it. I I was watching uh, the. You've binging. never been. I think I've been there like once or twice, and I think it is the one by the airport that I've been to. I, I went a, as a kid, and um, I, I like the I little a kid too. game. That's fun. That's a that fun little play. thing. That's how they get the kids. Is the pet game. they do? They do. Yeah. No. Okay. But you no, used to seriously. buy Webkins from there. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, nice. Yeah, you could get Webkins at Cracker Barrel at some point. Nice. Uh, <laughs> but no, fucking. Um. Yeah. I. I. I watched the binging with Babish. He did a whole video on just box macaroni and cheese. Mm. Which now I'm gonna buy a new brand of box macaroni and cheese next time I go out because oh, I want to uh, try. Apparently, Annie's like they have three specific flavors that are really good. Oh. But fucking apparently the Cracker Barrel one tastes like garbage. I bet you. Yeah. I've never really felt like I really enjoyed Cracker Barrel food. It was just like, you know, ho- you know like, like home food that we would have at my house made by other people that I, I kind of get that yeah. better. Yeah. Do you, do you know, you know, you know, Cracker Barrel has been spoiled for me and it's mm. family guy's fault. Do you remember the 
Star Wars episode of Family Guy where yeah. like Peter Griffin of Family Guy gets a uh, 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 <laughs> gift basket and one of it's uh, Cracker Barrel cheese and he uses a little lightsaber to cut it off. Yeah, I do. And then he just goes, yuck. And that's all I think of <laughs> that's when I like think cracker of Cracker Barrel. Because <laughs> when I was seven years old, yeah. I was uh, given access to a television. Yeah. <laughs> I. It's a real southern white person thing to grow up with Cracker Barrel and dislike it. Because yeah. I've had friends that are like, they're not white, and they call me and they're like, have you fucking been to Cracker Barrel? And I'm like, that fucking hole? That disgusting that hole? piece of shit place. And like, it's really good. And I'm like, it might be. Listen, it might be. Listen, it might be. I think it might be, too. I don't believe it, but I, I, I think it might it. <laughs> I think it might I, be. You couldn't pay me to go there, but it might, it may be. When if they we, started we doing $5,000 on Patreon, Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel, yeah. Yeah. Get on it, America. <laughs> I have one specific friend that keeps calling me about, like, white people restaurants. And is like, fucking Olive Garden is cheap and it's delicious. And I'm like, okay, man. That one I believe. Yeah, that one's true. I would That's, go to yeah. Olive Garden, but I don't know if I would, you know, I'd but go there all, right. all the time. You know what I, I mean? I actually so would. would. Don't right. fucking lie to us. No, you're right. Don't you're lie right. to ourselves and maybe, here. I mean, maybe I do, I do value his opinion, so maybe Cracker Barrel is good. Maybe I just am not going to okay. walk in with the big Willingly. checkers. Willingly. <laughs> yeah. The rock candy. Oh, yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. You know, if I'm going to do that, it's going to be a, fucking Dollywood, you know? I was more of a diner, I guess. I remember going to Perkins a bunch as a kid. Oh, my God. Perkins. That was my thing. Yeah. Do they Do they still... With the big muffins? Perkins exist? Yeah. Yeah. Are they you used there? to live by a Perkins. Well, I mean, yeah. I don't know if it's still there anymore. Oh, I don't know. That's the thing. Yeah. You remember Johnny Rockets? Yeah, I do remember Johnny I Rockets. Johnny Rockets. And then they tore it down yeah. for a fucking hotel for disney those pieces of shit yeah pieces of garbage i was on a cruise ship one time with uh johnny rockets on on board awesome yeah <laughs> that was a good segment i like that that was a lot of fun thank you yeah see i, tr I trust your segments thanks yeah <laughs> i trust okay i trust them all yeah. right fucking give me a little bit of slack <laughs> god damn ads yeah ads That was a weird segue, but whatever. I don't give a shit. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the ad break. Welcome. Hey, are you enjoying this podcast so far? I am. And you better like, comment, subscribe, hit the gosh darn bell, raise five stars on Apple and Spotify podcasts. Oh my God! Uh, if you want to support the podcast financially, there's a couple ways to do it. Yeah. Uh, first one, I'm going to do a straight over coffee. Sure, go over coffee. Sure, coffee. We have a coffee line available. We have two different flavors, one for each of us. Sarah has a dark roast chocolate cream flavor uh colombian bean and i have a brazilian bean uh caramel flavor light to medium roast hell yeah so go check it out the link will be in the description as well as if you're on youtube somewhere around here Ooh, <laughs> 16 dollars a bag 28 dollars for both thank you i appreciate it yeah. <laughs> i don't remember prices it's good it's a good amount too i think it lasted us and we drink coffee like every day a yeah. lot yeah it lasted us like a month yeah for sure yeah so yeah if you don't want to go to uh uh uh, like Duncan and spend forty dollars on coffee. Real, you're, you're just getting a good deal for sure. With it these. is a good deal, or if you and a higher quality you know, coffee, I feel like. You know? Oh yeah, it's yeah. super nice, and you're uh, supporting a smaller um, roasting company and, too. Yeah, you're supporting us as well. We appreciate it a lot. Yeah, but yeah, so go check that out. Go buy us coffee at buymeacoffee.com forward slash apwstr. Mm -hmm. And for three dollars coffee, you can leave us a little note. We'll say it on the podcast. Yeah, as long as it's not racist, homophobic, transphobic, anything. Yeah, like of that, that kind. Yeah. Yes, we got. Three Three different people bringing us coffees today. Thank you all very much for them. Thank you. Link, she, they bought a coffee. Thank you. Thank you. I believe this is also a link from Patreon, which we will get to in a second. Patreon.com. Uh, maybe. Slash Spare, I know yeah. there's another another one also. Yeah. Not sure. Not uh, sure. Get in the comments. thank you, whoever, yeah, whoever you are. Whoever you are. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, hello, Sarah and Josh. Hello. Love you both from the show. I've been listening for a while as I found you on TikTok sometime last year, and I've been hooked ever since. I've been wanting to send you one of these for a while now, so here you go. Oh, thank you. Anyways, I hope you all have a great week and an amazing year. And mm. that's the uh, less than three uh, heart emoticon. Thank Aww, you very much. Thank you. We appreciate it. I hope, I hope we're having a good year and hope everyone else is having a good year. Yeah. We're here to get through 2024. That's our goal. Yeah. It was rough at the start, but I'm feeling it's it. Get, it's getting it's, pick it's it April. Up. It's picking up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, yeah. We're having a good time. Callie, uh, she, her, bought three coffees. Thank you. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Thank you. 
Hi, guys. Uh, these are to celebrate Sarah's ADHD diagnosis and to say thank you for being the best podcast. Oh, my gosh. Thanks. I really relate to Sarah's struggle with undiagnosed ADHD, and mm-hmm. we have the same diagnosis, lol. Oh, wow. I love listening to you guys no matter what you talk about, and you have introduced me to a lot of good TV shows. Hell, yeah. The long episodes are the best and per- perfect to listen to while I take three hours to get ready for the day because of my own ADHD. Real. Fucking same. I feel so that. So real. Yeah. Thank you guys for making me, making me laugh. Smiley face. Thank you very much. Thank you. And also, I really appreciated everybody else's... um commiserating about oh, yeah. being that was good diagnosed to see. late in life. That yeah. was why I talked about it, you know, and I'm really glad that it um, connected with a lot of people. Yeah, no, I agree 100%. Yeah, I think it was really good uh, seeing everyone connect with that. It was yeah, nice. it was mm. really cool. Hell yeah. yeah thank, thank you, you everybody. That. That was good. Yeah. Uh, Angie, 40F, she, she, her, bought three coffees. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Josh and Sarah. Hello. I'm in the middle-ish of the last episode discussing Sarah's mental health. I'm fully diagnosed ADHD since I was a kid. And yeah, the way you're describing your depression around six months ago, that definitely sounds like imposter syndrome. Yeah, for Both sure. my partner and I get it from time to time and have to kind of coach each other out of it. Hmm. After high school, I no longer use the meds. And over time, I definitely noticed a massive difference. Okay. Unfortunately, without insurance, I can't get back on it. I am sorry. That sucks. I fucking hate insurance. If this is in America, I'm so sorry. I fucking yeah. hate the American health system, man. It's awful. Yeah. Uh, anyways, I just want to cra- congratulate you on the diagnosis. There's going to be a lot of stuff that that's suddenly going to make sense for you. Yeah. Hell, I'm still learning new stuff that relates to my ADHD. Yeah. That just makes me want to scream. Why the hell did no one ever tell me that? Tell me this, lol. That's so real. I nah, don't know. I feel that. There's so many, especially Little moments. women that are just like, I don't know why I said women like we I mean like <laughs> I was, like I'm Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. Um, there's a lot of women that have been diagnosed with ADHD and later in life that are just like no one fucking. I was obviously Told having me, yeah. these symptoms and no one noticed. Yeah, that's fucked up. And there's a big part of me that's like, kind of a, a lot of it's misogyny. Oh, like, no, you I just agree, expect 100%. women to be quiet and ditzy, huh? <laughs> yeah, but they're still like an attentive ADHD and shit. Yeah. yeah like, like, no, they're not. They're just, they just have fucking ADHD and they're, they're not suffering. your manic pixie dream girl. They just have, have ADHD. ADHD. Yeah. But genuinely, also yeah. Kinda, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. I do, yeah. Kind no, of I said a lot. that loud. Yeah. And it's just, it's a wild, um, that's the biggest thing for me is the realizing how people have been probably viewing me. Because oh, there's yeah. that uncanny valley effect too, where people were like, oh, I'm neurotypical. She's neurodivergent. I can tell. And I'm like, you know, Oh, yeah, that's yeah. why I wasn't invited to fucking birthday parties. <laughs> yeah, God, same. Jesus crazy, Christ, that's crazy. Ridiculous, man. Yeah. But yeah, thank you all for that very much. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. And again, go over to buymecoffee.com forward slash A-P-W-S-T-R if you want to give us a uh, coffee and help support the podcast financially. Yeah. If you want to help support, uh, there's also patreon.com forward slash A-P-W-S-T-R as well. Yeah. Go check it out. There's exclusive content. There's ad-free releases, early releases. Mm-hmm. I think this week I'm finally going to make the RSS feed so it'll be easier to get access to the ad-free yeah. uh, releases as well. But it's all available down and it's uh, $1, $3, 5 and $10 per month. Or you can do it yearly and get 10% off the entire year. Also, $1 and $3 tiers have a seven-day free trial. So if you want to look at the content and see if you want to keep paying for it... <laughs> It's then available. go ahead and do that. You can also join. Care. There's a free tier of Patreon now. You can just join and get notified when there's new stuff and if something piques your interest, you can join after the fact. Oh, wow. That's yeah. pretty cool, too. That's kind of cool. Yeah. So go check it out. Patreon.com forward slash APWSDR. Someone became a year-long uh, $10 patron. And that was I want to say shout out to them because that was... Listen, you're going to get... Listen, if you enjoy a four-hour podcast every week or even three-hour podcast, you're definitely still getting your money's worth, but we really appreciate it. We really do appreciate yeah, it a lot. So, Please go check it out if you've been joining the podcast and want to help support the podcast financially. Highly recommend it. Yeah. Just did my taxes this week. We're going to need go, it. Please we go to need, patreon.com. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's just say it's four digits that we're going <laughs> to potentially owe. It'll so, be fine. We'll shove it on a payment plan or whatever. <laughs> so if you want to slowly bring uh, uh, our three digits of Patreon money to four or five digits. That would be great. That would be much Yay. appreciated. <laughs> there are also links down uh, in the description for uh, Palestine. Uh, you might have been like, oh, but Sarah, there's a ceasefire for Ramadan. No one no one is abiding by that, apparently. Yeah, so please go still support and please call your Congress people because... And it is working because uh, Joe Biden did a 30-minute call with fucking Netanyahu and was like, hey, we're gonna be... Don't 
Don't, don't do. Don't do it. And it actually genuinely caused Netanyahu to open up um a road for aid to go through. Yeah. Which is also an admission that they have actually been stopping aid. Yeah. Which they so, were lying about earlier. So. Yeah. So please continue pushing on that. There's still a lot of work very that needs important. to be done. Uh, if you want to help uh, support science, there are multiple distributed computing teams that we have that mm-hmm. help research uh, like cancer, different types of proteins, and other types of things. Go check them out all in the description down below. Yeah. And thank you all for those of you who have joined. It's been crazy seeing people do it. That's Fucking awesome. Cool as hell. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, all the links are down in the description. Consider supporting the podcast. Consider uh, calling for Palestine. Yep. And keep keep working on it, please. Yeah. And thank you, everyone who's already done that, and yeah. everyone who listens in general. We love you. Yeah, if you're still enjoying it, the best way to still support, just keep on listening. Yep. True. And enjoy the rest of the podcast. Yeah. You know what we, time it is? Is it Reddit time? I think it's Reddit time, even though we've already been on Reddit, but we can go back on Reddit to do more Reddit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Connect those dots, America. <laughs> Connect those <laughs> dots, America. Sheeple. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. This one's a banger. Hell yeah. Am I the asshole for making up weird sex stuff about my ex-boyfriend who I never had sex with after he told everyone we did? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I wonder what the weird sex... This is a good litmus test for me to see, like, well, it's not that weird. <laughs> I've heard I don't weirder. know if you want to say that. Um, I want to say that on the record. Okay. It is currently, it is uh, Saturday the 6th at 8.02 p.m. And Josh is uh, putting this into record right now. All right, great. Well, now what happens in the story is what Josh is totally okay with. <laughs> okay. I, female 18, was dating Carl, 18, until last Christmas. I bought him a nice, thoughtful gift, and he got me nothing. Ooh. Woo! We have been dating for six months, and he said he didn't think we were at the gift stage. What? <laughs> Whatever. I was single for New Year's Eve. You're so baller. That's good. That's yeah. I mean, yeah. That that's what you do, I guess. The that's kinda... six months. People said we celebrated a one month. Yeah, and I think yeah. I, I hope I gave you a Christmas I think, present. I, I'm pretty sure you did. It was either that or like I helped pay for something because that's what I usually do sometimes. That is usually, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, you foot the rest of the bill. <laughs> we had even a six month. We did a six month. Yeah, thing we did a six too. month. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah. What's the gift giving? What are you talking about? What dude? are you even talking? It's just made up rules. Yeah. From how I met your mother. You know oh, what I mean? for sure. Yeah. I recently found out he is telling everyone that we had sex. We didn't. Now my friends are bugging me about it since I still quote unquote claim to be a virgin. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Rather than fight the rumors, I have been adding to them. He likes being pegged. He likes being snowballed. He makes a weird noise and cries when he comes. He can only get hard if I'm wearing men's underwear. Now oh, he's. I want to retract my statement. Oh from yeah, huh? <laughs> you didn't want to listen to your sweet girlfriend tell you that only, maybe you shouldn't say that. Only, can you say them again so I can give a number of how many I might actually be okay with? <laughs> uh, pegged, snowballed. Don't know what that means. Maybe it's something to do with cocaine because apparently it's not. I, I, don't, don't know. I know exactly what that is. Okay, great. He likes being snowballed. He makes a weird noise and cries when he comes, and he can only get hard if I'm wearing men's underwear. Which I feel like it's not that weird. That one's not the worst, but only one of those things I might be into, and I'm not going to elaborate any further. Now he is pissed off with me for lying about him. He tried telling everyone that I'm lying, but I've seen him naked and can tell the truth about his body. Ooh. For example, he has a very big birthmark on his hip area, but you can't see it if he has a bathing suit on. I know I am being petty, and I was planning on sleeping with him on New Year's Eve. I'm conflicted, but I think he deserves it. Well, I mean... He's lying about it. Like, yeah, I mean, you have, okay, so like, it's, you have two roads, right? You're 18. It's fine. Yeah, who cares? You're, you're young. But you also, like, shit. yeah, like, cause this guy's just straight up lying about you. It's either what, okay, are people gonna believe you if you said no? Yeah. Cause let's be honest here, like, probably not. not yeah, it doesn't because, matter anymore. But if you start saying, if you bring up notes of like, oh, I know where his birthmark is. And you can like fact you can you because okay every good lie yeah this is this is a learning moment here uh-huh. <laughs> every good lie is based on a little bit of truth of somehow you know what I mean mm-hmm. so if you can put in a few truths into a series of lies it's more likely that people will believe the whole thing it's called a trickle truth yeah exactly is that actually what it's called yeah so what abusers especially if you're like in uh, okay well this is, you're not an abuser for doing no, this but I mean it is a it is a tactic used by people that lie chronically. Um, if you're cheating on someone, right, and then, you know, you're 
the the Tinder sound goes off on your phone. Yeah. And you didn't know that it was on. And your girlfriend's right next to you. And she's like, was that a Tinder sound? And then you say like, no, I have Tinder, but I was just downloaded it to make to turn off my profile. Oh, yeah. That classic lie. <laughs> That's what it was. I just realized five years into our relationship you know, like that I had it on, and I was like, "Well, girls are probably swiping on me. I don't want to. I don't want to be mean and tell them I'm in a five year. So I'm just going to turn it off." And then you know, your girlfriend maybe she's not all there, and <laughs> she's like, "Oh, okay, that's fine." Yeah, and then but you keep still... swiping on Tinder. Yeah, so it's true that yes, you were on Tinder, but you lied about the reasoning yeah. for be there for being there. Yeah. Now, actual real like. For real, emotional abusers will be like, well, technically I didn't lie. Oh, that's fucked up. Yeah. Because I, I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you're admitting that you're lying, you know, like to yourself, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know. Okay. So, what do you mean? I don't do know. Mean? So, I mean, I'm trying to think of in this context where like someone is lying. It's manipulation and manipulation is emotional abuse. Yeah. No, that's true. Yeah. yeah. So, it's, it's, if we're going to be honest about it. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Fair enough. Yeah. However, fight fire with fire, fucking <laughs> no. Yeah, I think you're 18. It's fine. You're 18, this is fine. This, this is, is fine. low stakes. It's, I feel like yeah. I don't think this is gonna escalate to a degree uh, where I, I don't especially know. if like, you're involved in the lie. You're you're allowed. Yeah, exactly. You're saying that you pegged a man. See, okay. You know what? Sorry. Let me let me refresh. Let's yeah. let's bring it back. Retracting everything I've said so far because I'm saying all the wrong things. Mm -hmm. What you're doing is just yes and in. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You're, you're just, just doing you're a just doing improv, improv yeah. exercise. <laughs> You got a great career ahead of you. Honey. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> UCB is calling right yeah. now. You can just move to LA. <laughs> Who gives a damn? Because I don't know. Like, yeah, like I used it, to lie about myself all the time to people in high school. It was fun. It's fun. <laughs> uh, one time, I told a guy uh, I had a I wore a chastity belt every day, and I forgot about it. And then six months later, he comes to me and was like, "Oh, yeah, you don't pee at school because of the chastity belt." And I was like, "What?" <laughs> and he said. Yeah, yeah, the chastity belt. And I was like, you believed me about the chastity belt? You think that people walk around wearing chastity belts in the year of our Lord 2017? I do. I bet some people still do, sadly, but fucking... What are you fucking talking about? No. What do you mean? Let's all come down to reality. <laughs> like, And I just absolutely, like an asshole, laid into this guy. And he was so shocked that I would ever lie to him. <laughs> That's really fun. That is, okay, it I get fun. that, yeah. One time I said I uh, was in a cult that dug up corpses. And a guy believed that for three years. Really? Yeah. And he tried Some to reveal it shouldn't. during a game of uh, Never Have I Ever. It was really awesome. He, <laughs> We were playing Never Have I Ever, and he goes, well, at least I'm not in a cult that digs up corpses. And then he looked at me, and I was like... Me neither, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? What are you about? fucking talking about? You're crazy. And he was like, no, you did it. And it was, it was really good because he also told me a very deep, dark secret about himself. And I just lied. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Shit, dude. Yeah, I wasn't a good person, but I was funny. I wasn't a good person in high school, but I was really funny, I will say. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> But people really, I don't know, I had a reputation for fucking uh, not lying somehow, yeah, even though I was even doing it all the all time. All these obvious lies. Okay, that's Yeah, fair. very obvious. It was actually fun. It was part of, like, I could go to school and be like, what can I get away with today? What will I say that people will believe and uh, let's yeah. see how far I can take it? Yeah. It's also funny because it also, I'm assuming you never brought it up after the fact. No, because why would reason, I? If I'm in a cult, These why would I bring it up all the time? super good memories. I'm not going to lie. If, in high school, if you told me something one day, I would forget it the next day immediately. That's what I, I thought would I don't care what it was. Yeah. yeah. God, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think asshole here. Not the no, asshole. No, you're not the asshole. Yeah. That guy's an asshole for lying, lying on Yeah, and you're just, yeah, you're making the lie backfire for that guy. Now he realizes what it's like when he lies about yeah, people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which it's, is a, it's, a, it's a sitcom teaching lesson is what it you're is, doing. Yeah. yeah. God, solved it. That was a good one. That, that was, was a good one. I like that one. You don't know what snowballing is? No, what is that? It's when... Um, I was like snoring cocaine off of someone's balls. No. But that's kind of cool, so I that's, don't know why. That's awesome. No yeah. one would... You, I, you would be bragging about that. I yeah. assume when someone says something 
like about snow it's got something to do with cocaine because and also no it's, really it's, irritated um, about it because every time i miss it people are like sarah obviously it's about cocaine dumbass like i would this know one's, okay this one's not about cocaine okay, so, what, okay what is it? so it's when i think it's when you uh this is all gonna get censored because i think this is too sexually you just explicit cut this whole thing out yeah yeah but i think it would be funnier if i just every other word was bleeped uh it's when you uh cut side of a and then back into that's just a good time, baby. <laughs> Sarah Heron, <laughs> snowballing. That's just a good time. That's a Tuesday night, honey. <laughs> Shit. What are you this talking, fucking talking house, about? Why are you doing that? <laughs> I don't think I have that many sexually charged. This has been a weirdly sexual episode so far, and it's uh, wow. totally my fault. Where? I brought up sex toys. and Oh, uh, you did do that, didn't you? I'm going to save that one for... Okay, I'm going to do this one first. Then. Okay. All right, okay. Okay. Starting us off simple. Mm-hmm. All right, simple. Am I the asshole for being rude to my boyfriend after he withheld salt from me? <laughs> Listen, I'm fat. So I'm on your side, honey. Oh, yeah. You okay. love salt. I love salt yeah. so much. <laughs> my female 27 boyfriend male 30 are currently on vacation with his family i have volunteered to cook most nights because i love to cook and am the best at it out of the entire group okay this evening i was making a dish for everyone and asked my boyfriend to please get me an array of seasonings for this specific dish mm. msg soy sauce pepper and salt he then said if you're using msg oh my god do you really need salt I'm going to explode. I already to hate this which man. I explained that MSG is not salty, has one third of sodium content to regular salt, and that dishes, if they are using MSG, will still typically require salt. That's true. I believe that. Yeah. Yeah. I was cooking outside on a griddle and the dish comes together quickly, so I was not able to go back to grab any additional seasonings. I realized shortly afterward that he did not include salt, just three of the four things I requested. When asked, he said we didn't need it. I tried the food, it was bland, so we then proceeded to put on additional soy sauce, which it did not need. Oh my god. It needed fucking salt. Yeah. Either way, I was defeated and needed to take it off, so I served it as is, without salt. This is the travesty here. This is a tragedy. Yeah, that is a tragedy. Oh my god. Everyone upon being served said it needed salt and proceeded to salt their own dishes. My boyfriend stood by his decision and doubled down on his argument that you can't remove salt, but you can add it and that he preferred how it tasted as is. I was fuming because he has done this in the past and says I occasionally overseason slash oversalt food. However, it does not happen regularly enough to be an issue. Okay. Occasionally accidental, I do 90% of the cooking at, the, at home and he loves my food. We argued about it and he stood his ground that he prefers his food less salty and that if I salted it, that he would have been shit out of luck and not been able to eat any of it. Mm. However, the amount of salt it's required was not enough to be overly salted and that I know for a fact any amount of salt I would have used, he would have happily eaten it. I told him his behavior felt controlling and he hit me with, I could have grabbed more salt myself, but again, this dish, if I stepped away, would have burned quickly. Am I the asshole for being angry and calling my boyfriend boyfriend controlling for not just getting me the salt when I asked for it initially? No, and this is why you need... This is why shame is important. (laughs) Yeah. Is everyone felt the lack of salt. Yes. And that's when you maliciously comply and say, you know what? Fine. We're not going to put any salt on it. Fine. That's what you think? Yeah. We're going to do that. You put it and then people start salting their dishes and that's when you make a scene and you say, hey... Do you think this dish is lacking something? Like yeah. maybe fucking salt? <laughs> well, guess who you can blame for that? This asshole. This asshole for not bringing it over. That's putting way too much fucking soy sauce on his goddamn yeah. dish. Yeah, and soy sauce is not salt. I don't know what the not, fuck. It's not, especially if you're getting salt-free soy sauce, which... Oh, yeah, they make a lot of those, too, yeah. yeah. Which, let's be honest here, I wouldn't be... If that was a thing in that house, he would have probably grabbed it if, like, well, she's already putting MSG on it, so, like, do we really need salt in the soy sauce? Also, MSG, the, the idea that MSG is salt and is bad for you and never have it is racist. <laughs> it's like a... is a. I actually learned that it is like trying oh, really? to demonize, yeah, Eastern culture dishes that oh, shit, use it that. a lot. Huh. 
it's actually fine. That's weird. Okay, because like, okay, speaking as a as a cracker, I know that it's yeah. pretty common to hate on white people for not seasoning their dishes, which I do kind of agree with sometimes. I agree with a lot. Yes. Yeah, I think depending on the dish, it depends. Like, uh, fucking, I don't know, but like, well, I, you know, I think it's just that white people don't know how to fucking cook. You know, that's possible. Yeah, like there's a weird, yeah. like I guess in like white culture, quote unquote. I guess white American culture. I want to be specific because, like, yeah. you know, like Italians figured this shit out. You know, well, like, Italians and also, um, like a lot of my family is from Louisiana, and they yeah. make very, very flavorful salted yeah. foods. But um, yeah, I will say even I've had to learn how to properly season. Yeah, like um. A lot of times, like, I I think, like, seasoning in my home household, like, uh, tuna casserole for us was, like, just putting tuna and a can of a mash, uh, a can of um, cream of mushroom with American cheese slices on top of it with some pasta, some yeah, cooked pasta white in the middle. culture right there. No I tell seasonings, you maybe some salt, as if salt is a seasoning. <laughs> yeah, no, I think, like, and that's the thing, too, is, like, because, uh, uh, like, it, <sighs> It's so interesting to me, I guess, from like a like a foodie perspective, which I don't mm-hmm. consider myself one. But like, I mean, a, I make a mean fucking mac and cheese, you, you know? Yeah. But like, even I know that like, it's not like, it's uh, every ingredient's important. Like I seasoned the mac and cheese and like, even though it uses American cheese slices, like American cheese has a place in the kitchen. Yeah. It's not laid on top of each other on a no, casserole. No. Yeah. It's, it's. That I believe if you do it, I don't care. It's yeah. It's yeah. like more like a, you know, like it has a good meltability, which is good for most dishes. Like if you're making a burger, yeah. Fucking American yeah. cheese is the way to go. Yeah. And like in my mac and cheese, I use the American cheese slices as a base to put cheddar in. Mm-hmm. So it makes it easier to all be cohesive, you know? Yeah. Like, it, yeah, I, it's it's interesting. That's interesting to me. But, like, in this case specifically, like, the... Uh, I feel like that, too. Like, I think, like, when it comes to, like, there's, like, a, the, the stereotype of, like, white people can't handle spice or something, you know? Mm-hmm. Kind of, like, in that similar vein where, like, uh... I don't know. Like, it, like the... <laughs> it's, it's interesting to me, I think. As someone who's trying to eat more food that's not, like, what I grew up with, you know? Yeah, you're trying to learn to cook more. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, home. and like, you know, I think seasoning is such an important thing. And salt isn't a seasoning. You're right. It's an ingredient yeah. more often than not. It's a flavor enhancer. Yeah, exactly. It, like MSG is also. Yeah, but in a different way. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's just crazy, man. It is wild. It's a very uneducated take, honestly. And, um, yeah, it's, there's a lot of weird, like, health diet shit out there that is not, it's not right. And I, I, I've had, I've run into issues with making food and just being like, this is what I do to make food at home. And it, was, it tastes fine. And then people will be like, but that's too salty. No, it's too salty. They haven't even fucking tried it. I don't they think just, I've ever had anything that was too salty in that this I've house. Made, yeah. Honestly, probably not enough salt. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like everything's relatively well seasoned here. Like fucking. Mm. I don't know. I, I do worry. I, I don't know why. I think sometimes I do worry about like over seasoning, quote unquote, because I know it could happen. But like uh, the only time I've ever had anything over seasoned, it was when my roommate took the tops off the seasoning bottles. See, yeah, that's too much. And like, then accidentally put like half the bottle on a piece of chicken. Oh, I've never done that. Thankfully, that was where I was like, OK, oh, God, I mean, I'll still use the uh, the big half open thing, but that still has way more control than I never even fucking, used that. Really? No, I only ever use little holes. No, I, I sometimes eat when I use the I mac just and cheese. do it for a long time. Yeah. OK, that's fair. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's easy to have control over cooking, you know, of like your own food. Also, if you're the cook for most things, fucking just cook the shit then. And you shouldn't be getting fucking lip. The real yeah. some guy. <laughs> You're right. He's giving you fucking lip. That's the thing. You're the so you're doing it for ninety percent of the time, and he doesn't view you as an expert. He thinks his opinion is more important Somehow, than your yeah. opinion. So then he goes and he doesn't do what you he, tell him to do, and then he has a bad dish, and somehow he still thinks that he's in the right. The only thing I could think of is if he has some sort of like medical condition or something, but that's but not said in the post. No. So I don't. Yeah, he literally is like, my opinion is better than yours and I'm correct and you're wrong. So yeah. do what I say. And then he has a lesser than better outcome. And yeah. then he's like bitching about it. <laughs> while you do 90 percent of the goddamn work. Yeah. Like, so you're just his like his like 
his fucking um his chef, his personal chef, his yeah. fucking slave, his food slave. And to still like and yeah, his fucking he, bang maid, dude. Yeah. Jesus, man. Like it's a respect issue. At, oh, for sure. At yeah. this point. You don't think And it's coming out in front of his whole family too. That's yeah. now And now they think you don't season your food correctly, which to me <laughs> is like the mo the biggest insult <laughs> I think yeah. that you could have. Yeah, it's one thing to not like someone's food. It's another thing to be like, yeah, yeah, you didn't season it properly because someone in your own family told you not to season it. Yeah, that's... and that's why I would fucking cause a scene. I don't give a shit if people are like, "That's not ladylike." That's not. Oh, that's not this or that or whatever. Like that, yeah, is there are really weird patriarchal ideas about that? Like, if you make a scene at a dinner table, you're the shitty one or whatever. You're the one that caused it. I'm like, no, this fucker didn't do what I asked, and now the fucking dinner's ruined. Yeah, I. <laughs> Jesus, man. That's fucked. Yeah, and it's a lack of understanding, too. It's, yeah. it's one of those rare situations where it's a small thing that really unveils a huge problem. Yes. That, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. I agree with that, man. Wow, oh, shit. Fuck. There you go. <laughs> Solved it. I gotta find another one. You gotta find it. Oh, it got taken down? No. Do the one where it's, uh, am I the asshole for uh, being naked around friends or something? Whatever no, the fuck it's you said do you don't it. want to do sexual ones. Okay. Am I the asshole? My boyfriend read my diary without consent and got angry about past lover in there. Ooh. But, my I mean, okay, if it's past lover, I feel like... Okay, this can go either way. Okay, hold on. But I'm still kind of like, he's still an asshole for reading. Reading the diary, yeah. yeah. So that's still, that's on, the, that's clear. Yeah. Yeah, okay. My boyfriend, 21 male, and I, 21 female, were studying in the library with our friends when he asked to use my computer for homework. I agreed since I wasn't using it at the time and was chatting with our friends. After about 20 minutes, I noticed his mood go extremely sour. And okay, I <laughs> did he lie about wanting to do homework real quick? I, I don't know if that's necessarily true, but like at some point, just fucking... Don't go on someone's computer and just and look like, through their around. fucking... Yeah, that's a little weird. It's fucked up, man. Yeah. Um, after about 20 minutes, I noticed his mood go extremely sour, and I tried to get him to look at me to figure out what was happening, but he wasn't having any of it. I just stayed talking to our friends to prevent it from getting awkward. He completely shut down. After we were done and left the library, I asked what was wrong. He told me he found a diary entry in my computer and read through it. Why? That diary entry was from about a year before this, and I hadn't met my current boyfriend yet. Okay, you're not the asshole. I had just had the best summer of my life working at my dream summer job, so I decided to write about it to remember it. In this diary entry, I wrote about fun experiences, meeting new friends, and a fling I had that summer. It was short, and there wasn't much to write, but I did put in some details about sex, and about how much I had liked him. T Twelve inches, and <laughs> fucking... So Seven He's pack. so much better than any boyfriend I'll, <laughs> I'll ever, ever have, have in, the in my future. life. That's not what's Obviously in there. Obviously not. On. Jesus. God damn. My boyfriend was very upset at me after he read my diary, stating that I shouldn't have kept that stuff. Why? It's your diary, though. That is not the whole point. Yeah, it's you not keep fucking it. nudes of another of your ex. Yeah, that's like that's. It's just a diary. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. He believes. <laughs> Unless there's like a JPEG in there, like it's on Word 07. <laughs> like it's fucking... a JPEG of a ruler. Yeah, and it's like marks <laughs> this big. <laughs> Whoa, soy jack of the pointing. <laughs> I don't. I don't have an actual photo of him, but here's a, a representation. It's like the first male model you it's find a big on Google. Cartoonishly big cock. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jesus. I should. Uh, I believe it. Uh, that I was very mortified to hear this. Okay, hold on. My boyfriend was very upset at me after he read my diary, saying that I shouldn't have kept that stuff. He believes I look at that diary entry all the time and do what and relive the sexual experiences oh, yeah, in sure. it. Yeah, I was very mortified to hear this because I felt I was the one who should be upset by that intrusion of privacy. Correct. Yes. Yeah. And to be honest, I forgot about the diary entry and never opened it again after I wrote it. But he doesn't believe me. I feel very heartbroken and betrayed and embarrassed. He feels jealous and disgusted. I would keep such a thing. We're both angry at each other, and we haven't come to any agreement in arguments. Am I the asshole for feeling like I did nothing wrong, and I'm allowed to be upset that he read my diary without my consent? Okay, I don't know. Okay. I, I want to think in this situation how I would act, right? 
if you read if a I read, thing like, about if I, me if being I, like, and I had sex with all, this guy and I really like him. I'm snooping on your laptop for some reason. Yeah, I don't think you've ever done I that. I don't think I would want to do that. A, I think, okay, first of all, mm-hmm. I say this every fucking week. Everyone should have a little bit of privacy. Everyone, Everyone should. Everyone should have a little bit of fucking privacy, especially if it's like a journal or a diary. And also, dude, like, yeah. yeah, like, I don't, like, <laughs> dude, fucking, uh, Remember that TikTok, uh, that series where it was the lady looking at her audio journals to tell that story? I can't remember what it was. Oh, who the fuck did I marry? Yeah, who the fuck did I marry? Yeah, yeah I think it's good sometimes to actually keep, yes. uh, you know, tabs of how you're yes. feeling. Yeah. It, it'd be crazy to be like, why the fuck do you have this whole series on the internet about this dude you married? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. So, like, okay, let's already we have to suspend a lot of disbelief this is the one piece of magic i have to i'm snooping on your computer right whatever yeah, okay i find okay, a diary yeah. about you fucking some guy yeah i probably wouldn't give a shit because you're not fucking him now yeah i assume you're not fucking him now you know also if it's like you're, you're explicitly Unless it was saying dated yesterday <laughs> yeah that's what i yeah. would be like <laughs> Hey, okay, listen, Wait, I know it was hell? I know it was shitty of me to look through your diary, yeah. but I saw in your Google calendar you had <laughs> sex with Dave. <laughs> sex with Dave. <laughs> the 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 cash app? <laughs> the fucking <laughs> the, bear. the bear from the, the cash bear. app. <laughs> Dave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. I don't th- that's weird. I don't know. Like what's this weird? Okay, this is a thing with dudes obviously and I can t- I can tell you from like first hand experience of like, you know, where it's like if you fucked any other man, like they're going to get weird about it for some reason, you, you know? know? And that's amazing because every grown ass woman that I know that has been married for a long time, yeah, will tell you when I was 20 this was the one that got away. Women have it too. Women, oh, for sure. Well, my yeah. fucking aunt one time, and this, I hope it blows up their fucking marriage. Both of them suck. But my aunt <laughs> one time in a fucking, uh, in, at the at the Six Flags Whitewater uh, fucking a Lazy River, she was telling me about this, this <laughs> guy that she met in college where her and my uncle had met. And this guy invited her out onto a boat. And she said no, because she was dating my uncle. Ooh. And she was like, I think about it all the time. And I'm like, every woman has that. I'm every, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm fucking sorry. If a man I can be like, genuine, oh, that's like... the one that got away. A woman has that too, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. You don't own her. You didn't own her from before you. Yeah, you, you don't don't never own, own another human being. No. Amazingly, yeah. Unless you're a state prison. <laughs> fucking <laughs> <laughs> and you're so right yeah, yeah. So that, but beyond that yeah uh no like literally though like um yeah i don't know it's like it's i guess it's like a weird purity thing where like yeah it it's, is. it's that thing where dudes can you sleep you around and women can't enjoy sex how dare you but, write yeah, about like enjoying a, sex uh, that's the thing is like it's yeah. a god this is a sexually charged episode but fucking like okay whatever who cares so uh, fucking like i mean the, it's a real thing yeah it, yeah no i think it's it, i think it's okay to be fucking healthy and talking about it you know mm-hmm I I just think it's so weird. Like, (laughs) it's a great red flag, honestly. Yes, yeah, hundred percent. I think if a dude is really upset at you talking about your past relationships in a way that is like, "Ah, and then this happened, it is fucking crazy. Yeah, you know. I mean, yeah. I don't think you should. It's kind of uncouth to walk around and be like, and then I had great (laughs) sex with my ex all day. It's like, okay, (laughs) all right. What's going on? Yeah, it's a little okay. Yeah, because I'm trying to think about like talking about sex like as i was growing up like cause, uh, first of all like i i was a fucking virgin until i was 19 but fucking, i mean i was a virgin until i was 21 so yeah no, i feel that so like fucking like i growing up like i think it was super weird like in high school because everyone's like definitely talks about sex and i like i would hear about other people having sex and i don't think i was ever jealous of like damn i could uh, like uh, like i can't believe i'm not fucking this person i was just jealous at the fact that i was the only one not having sex that was the only thing yeah there's like a peer pressure element yeah, to it yeah for sure and then like i think working working at disney i didn't really hear that much about it and then at universal like oh god that Annie ants cart was fucking they were very sexually charged were, that group yeah. of friends but they were like you know at least they were like open about it i guess yeah, they were, you like, know 20 something i my yeah. friends too were also very open about i never sex. once thought when like uh when someone like one of the the ladies working there was like yeah so i i sucked off a dude once i was never like whoa 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. you you had sex <laughs> I was like, oh, cool. You're, you're grown. You're grown yeah, ass woman. Fine. Yeah, you should be. Yeah. It's just sex. I don't know, man. It's just weird. I I feel like 
I, okay, and I this is mm. off topic because the real sin here is you went through a fucking diary. Yeah. that's still the biggest sin, and then you got mad about it. Yeah, that's the thing. You have you have the audacity to a invade this woman's privacy, judge her based on what you've seen, and well, then okay. turn around and get mad at her for doing something before you even met her. Yeah, and then also you're mad at her for having sex with the man before you so you're mad at her for enjoying for a sex. year ago yeah a like, year ago and you're mad at her for keeping it like oh the thing that i must uh that i have to jill off to every goddamn day i have to go delete it now because of greg because greg showed up in my life i have to go yeah. delete that now to be respectful to him and like i understand with new i think if you're around if you're in a relationship with somebody and they send you their nudes and then you break up you should delete their nudes i agree with that yeah i do agree with that as well i think it's fucked up the consent has been revoked yeah now. because you're no longer together yeah yeah you shouldn't keep that shit on your phone unless yeah. you have like a special talk about it and they're like keep my nudes post them to the internet i don't give Hell a shit yeah. you know who cares but like that's what i believe personally mm. and i do think it's weird if like someone keeps the nudes that someone had them yeah i can understand that it's, yeah. it's just it feels not uh reciprocal on consent at that oh point. yeah exactly but so. this is just you're writing down a a version of events that you experienced in your life no As one can you tell you it yeah you're being punished for how you wrote it a year ago too yeah. when you were in a no different one can mindset tell you to stop. yeah you're making art, baby. It would be like, okay, let's take sex away from it. Okay, okay. Piece of magic. I'm looking through your diary, right? Right, right. And I I read like a diary from like when we're having a fight or something. Yeah. And then I come to you as like, why did you call me an asshole? It was like, I was mad in the moment. That was what. Well, why are you mad at me now? <laughs> I'm not. I'm mad at you now because you <laughs> looked at my diary. That's what it is. But you were mad at me then. <laughs> yes. Do you want to rehash the argument? What the yeah, fuck? You want to cause a problem that's for really no reason? Dumb. Yeah, like God. And all okay. One special thing in this that I think is interesting is that he immediately thinks that you are jerking off to this thing. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> like his insecurity that you would ever find another man attractive. It's created this narrative in his mind that you're constantly going yeah. back and thinking about that guy. So he is effectively objectifying you and sexualizing you in his mind. Yes, in and that making instance. you not a human being who has but sex, a sexual object, has good sex, has bad sex, moves on, poops, farts, eats, pisses, comes, and then also is a well-respected woman in society. You know, he can't see you as a three-dimensional human being. He only sees you as a sexual object in this moment. Yeah, which is inherently disrespectful. Yeah. You would think after dating someone for even a few months, you would at least look at them like a person. <laughs> yeah. Maybe just a little bit. Maybe, Maybe just a little, at some point. Humanize them a little bit, you know? Yeah. God, the bar's on the floor. <laughs> Holy shit. Man, can you please humanize your girlfriends for... Humanize your girlfriend challenge, parentheses, slightly you... impossible. <laughs> this is an old podcast clip, but it was some fucking bald fucker. <laughs> and I'm sorry. I'm gonna body shame him. I'm so sorry. But he was like, I just realized... My wife is like a human being. Like he realized ten years into his marriage that his wife has. I know emotions what you're talking about, and I can't remember who it was. And thoughts. I don't fucking know. The guy's a guy's a nobody. Goddamn grifter. Yeah. yeah you who know? the fuck? Who gives a shit about that guy? But he's like, my wife has thoughts and feelings, and she what? cares okay. about her children. And oh, I love her so much more now. I'm like, oh, so you dated her for ten years? You didn't think she was a human woman? You thought she was just like a baby making machine? Yeah. Like, come on. That's okay. I don't. She, okay. You just thought she was a real girl, a real off doll topic, that nagged you sometimes. Off topic, make met, meta topic. Listen, yeah. we have a podcast. I say stupid things into this mic all do. the time. I don't think I say shit that's nearly as dumb as that. And, but what about like? Yeah. I mean, it's because they're alpha bros. But like, what about? Putting a dude in front of a microphone. Mm -hmm. Why is it like a like they always roll nat once? <laughs> like, they do. They like do. It's really like. And I, you know what's funny is some of them are fake. Some of them are. Oh yeah, making. They're... They have sets. They have microphones and they have cameras and they don't have a podcast. Yeah, I hate those fucking frauds so goddamn much. Actually, I hate seeing that. Now. I hate that shit so much. You fucking posers, do some work. <laughs> if you had a big set like that, just do the fucking show at that point. Just do the fucking show. Yeah. And if you have a big set that I haven't seen before, 
like you haven't put out a lot of fucking content because I'm very dialed into podcast TikTok. Oh, yeah, same. If a random podcast shows up and it's a huge fucking set and I haven't seen it before. I assume that it's fake. I, I assume that you it. just built it last yeah, weekend. Yeah, I get that. And if I look, yeah, I get that. And then people get up in arms about it because you're essentially creating rage bait at that point. Yes, yeah. Because you are, yeah. Yeah, you are. And then you're tricking children into getting upset and then you're making Which money the, off yeah, of children. Like, that's the What thing. a way to make a living, dude. You're already yeah. a bottom of the barrel fucking podcaster. Yeah, and like, I don't know. Like I feel like we at least have some safeguards and like we actually talk about the prospect the issues, of it. Yeah. yeah, you know, I think... I think, we, but again, bars on the talk floor. About, yeah, talk about what's going we on. We try to be funny, and sometimes we and we call out some stupid things. bullshit. Sometimes, you know. yeah, yeah, we speak truth to power. We do speak truth to power. You pass the weed this way, please. I need, I need, I need, I need it. I'm losing my edge. Uh, but yeah, no, what a dick. Fuck yeah, that he's guy. a dick. He's just a massage. Did he have to dick. do homework? I genuinely want to know if he wanted to Man, do homework. What's his homework? Yeah, what's his homework that he needs to like? Come on. I don't believe, I don't know, I don't know why way, I don't believe that. Well, the only way I could believe that is if he went to Microsoft Word, instead of pressing new, he pressed open, and then he saw your diary's name, and was like, oh. And he just starts reading it? Like, yeah. Like, I might as well. I, you know, genuinely, if I saw that, I'd be like, I don't need to see this. Yeah, I mean, I that's what like, most yeah. people, I think, would I don't know why, feel. I've had weird, I've had bad experience, okay, there was this one time, I think I told this story, I, when I was working at Universal, there was like this security guard. And he invited me to his house one day uh, to help oh, him re- yeah. edit a video. I remember this. And he was like trying to get all his files together. And he had apparently a porn folder that showed up. And he was like, well, I'm, you know, I'm going to show, you know, I guess I'm going to open this. So just be, you know, close your eyes and look away. And like he was using like Premiere and I knew how to use Premiere. I was like, well, okay, let's not do that, sir. <laughs> let's fucking uh, go to, um, let's go to open projects. Yeah, we don't actually have to we open don't have to, Windows yeah. Explorer. Yeah, exactly. We don't yeah. need to open up the one tab that you see. Yeah. I actually don't have to know what you were jerking it to before I showed uh, up. Yeah, I'm to good. To teach you Premiere. Thanks. Yeah, I don't need to go into your Chrome history for this. I remember that because, and that was a really fun part of our relationship where we were just off doing our own thing and then we, and we would reconvene. text each other every day like a play-by-play of our day yeah or just a bunch of heart emojis if we didn't have anything going on yeah and um fucking i remember you texting me about that and be like this dude he just opened up so much porn on his computer more than i had like i was like okay hold on whoa this oh, is this is a yeah, lot this yeah. is a lot for josh oh here. my god yeah I remember that was really funny. Thick, twisted, pervert Josh realizes he's a Christian compared to this man. <laughs> he's a Catholic now, apparently. I remember I had to tell you to stop tweeting about uh, porn, not because I was upset at you watching porn, but because I was upset that you would say that you had a tiny dick as a joke. Oh, yeah. And that you weren't having sex. And I was like, we're in a relationship. You're implicating me now. <laughs> You're, yeah, you're implicating now, uh, my reputation. You're now a victim in this, yeah. The joke is now that you have a huge dick and we have sex all the time. Yeah. Regardless of what reality is, you have to say that. Yeah, to help your reputation. My yeah. reputation. You can't just like call yourself a loser and that's funny because then I'm dating a loser. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Instagram this week, by the way, is oh, you yay. saying I'm I'm dating a loser. <laughs> no, 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 no. You still haven't gotten it. God damn it. Five no. years in. I'm playing the long con. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, All right. God. Solved it. Solved it, though. I solved it. Yeah. There's a lot of sex in this one, huh? Yeah. A lot, a lot of fucking in this one, dude. Yeah. This show is not for children. This show is not for kids. Mm mm. All right, I'm going to do this one. Yeah. All right. One sucks. Am I the asshole for taking, quote, advantage of my girlfriend? Yeah, so I remember you told me this one, and I was like, Josh, if it's serious, don't do this it's one. It's not serious. Okay. It's about It's about food. Okay. I feel like I'm about to get flamed, so throw away. My girlfriend and I have been together for three years. Since we started dating, we have a tradition of paying for each other for dinner for our birthdays. We don't have a limit on how much that meal will cost. Okay. My girlfriend doesn't drink. She at most has a mocktail or a sparkling water. Fancy. (laughs) (laughs) That was really good. 
good. Thank That's you. That's a good sound. I usually pay a hundred to hundred fifty dollars for both of us for her birthday dinner. My birthday was two days ago, and we went out. I drink, which my girlfriend doesn't like, and she thinks it's a waste of money. But it's my birthday, and she agreed to pay for everything. Okay. I had eight drinks Jesus. and a steak and dessert at a steakhouse, okay. which cost about $200. And with her $70 meal, it came to $310 with tips. She didn't say anything at the time, but last night blew up at me for drinking so much money and expecting me to cover it. Or her to cover it. Sorry. Drinking so much money is a great way to describe that. that yeah. yeah. I defended myself because it was technically unlimited, and no, <laughs> I wasn't drunk. I have a pretty high tolerance, so it's not fair that I can't enjoy myself. She is pretty frugal, and so she thinks it's a crazy amount. $310. Yeah, it's not frugal, <laughs> it's not man. Fr- yeah. I'm sorry. She is pretty frugal, so she thinks it's a crazy amount, and, when, and I was an asshole for leaving her with this high of a bill. We agreed we would pay for each other's meals and drinks, and it's not my fault she doesn't normally get more than one drink, and it's non-alcoholic, so it's cheaper, but she has been ignoring me and refusing to talk it out. If she's that upset, I'll reimburse her for my portion, but then that's the end of our, quote, tradition. Okay. So the question isn't, and what this guy thinks the question is, is did I take advantage of my girlfriend? Yeah. That's not the question. Yeah. The question is, Am I an asshole? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You're an asshole. If your job gives you unlimited PTO and it's there, it's genuine unlimited PTO, and you take every day off. Yeah. And then your boss is like, "Well, actually, you know what? We're getting rid of unlimited PTO." That the boss is you're the, the piece of shit yeah. that ruined it for everyone. Yeah. There yeah. are sadly unspoken rules, even. There is a limit. Even yeah. if it says unlimited, yeah. there is a limited amount of money in your bank account. Yes. And th- what you're willing to pay for something. Because, like, okay. You, you know, can't just use your partner as a, as a bank. Well, we said unlimited. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if she said inf- infinite, then uh, like I would have just bought the whole restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dog. I don't know. They're, okay. Like, okay. Three. Okay. $310. Two hundred dollars being your own meal with all the drinks, which okay, if her meal was seventy dollars and you didn't get any drinks, that would have been one forty. That's way more reasonable, even though it's half for a for a dinner. I feel like listen, okay, politeness is rooted in white supremacy. Yeah, right. It's nice when you're going out when your your boss invites you out to dinner. We're gonna have a we're I'm gonna pay your your partner's parents it's, invites you out to dinner they're gonna pay it's you don't nice. get the most expensive thing yeah. on the menu because or, it's nice yeah exactly i agree and with if that. you do get the most expensive thing on the menu you have to accept that people might look at you like a little differently yeah dude for real are you kidding me i'm not made of money and i even think too like maybe it's not even necessarily the most expensive thing but like a lot of things maybe. yeah because i feel like okay because i don't drink specifically and sometimes i don't even get like soda i get water and like half the time it's free yeah so like if i got the most expensive thing like it would still probably not be yeah the worst especially if like you're if you're eating like a regular meal and you get an alcoholic drink, like it still might even out by the end of it. You know what I mean? Well, and even then, usually I try to pay for whatever I'm drinking if it's no, alcoholic yeah. at least, you know? Yeah. And like, I don't know. Like, and I, you know, I joke on the podcast about like, fuck mm-hmm. alcohol. You know, I don't give enough of a shit to be honest <laughs> about it. But like, you know, yeah. like I feel like um, if you're genuinely worried about money and like, I feel like I think I think alcohol prices as someone who used to work around people that worked with alcohol they're ridiculous they're overinflated and they're ridiculous and you worked at universal so it was like yeah, extra even inflated. more ridiculous one yeah. time i paid eight fucking dollars my before tip for a single jack and coke yeah i remember this that. much alcohol yeah eight dollars and then i had to give a tip on top of it i ended yeah. up giving him like fucking ten dollars worth for of, this yeah month. it was ridiculous yeah and like it's I, if you really do believe in being frugal yeah. and the compromise here isn't stop drinking and not spend money, mm-hmm. make 
drinks at home because it's all the same shit. Or like, you know, set a damn limit. I don't know why you have an unlimited amount unless both of you can pay for it or whatever. She's mad at you for knowing the rules beforehand and she knows that you gamed the system. Yeah, that's the thing. If you make a if you make a rule that allows you to uh, fucking game the system, and then you decide to game the system, it's disrespectful to the system What's and that? the other person that you're hurting. I know it doesn't necessarily apply to here, but if the rule, if the system, if the rule brought you here, then with what point was the rule? You know, like yeah. fucking <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's like uh, it's. <sighs> I think there are okay. I, <laughs> like you can do it. You can. And you can do it. You just are gonna come off like an asshole. Yeah. 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 I agree with that. Yeah. That's it. It's fine. You can totally do it, and it's totally fine. You set the rules beforehand. You're just gonna seem like a dick if you yeah. do it. That's no, I, it. I agree with that 100. percent Yeah. Yeah. She's allowed to have feelings and look at you like you're you're like a dick. what the fuck happened here? Yeah. She never. Also, she never said that you just you're only allowed to have one drink either. No. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah, she was okay with you drinking a little bit. This is also a situation where a talk and a compromise afterwards can be. I mean, maybe not while you're drunk because you're drunk. You had, you had eight you drinks. Had eight drinks. You are but drunk. But when you sober up, there's a there's a talk to have afterwards yeah. that isn't combative. That isn't fuck you. You don't want me to drink. It's yeah. Oh, you know I'll re- I'll reimburse you for that. For like that for the things. Yeah. If you're mad about the stake, maybe we can talk about the rule. And yeah, maybe we don't have the rule anymore. Yeah. And also, I'm thinking about it more and more. I'm like, it's a stupid rule. It's a stupid rule. And also, like, how the fuck did you drink eight drinks? I don't. I don't even think you can do that. I think the most I've ever seen you drink at a restaurant is maybe two to three drinks. I don't. Yeah. Three? I'm like, I don't think I can even pay for that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if I'm really fucking cutting loose. But that's me. I don't really drink that much. No, I feel that. Even when I was buying a lot of beer, I would come home and I would uh, drink half a beer and then I would leave it out and then I I would pour it out. And I remember everyone at my job really criticizing me for it. They were like, that's so stupid. Why would you even drink the beer in the first place? (laughs) And I was like, because I like, once again, I'm an old man inside. I like the feeling of coming home. Opening up, taking a beer. off my uniform and having a beer. Yeah, but really, what it was was I like a silly drink. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and there's many silly drinks out there. I mean, I got mine yeah. here. You know, I don't really like getting drunk. I just like also, having a like, silly drink. Yeah, if you get a mocktail, it's usually Man. still a lot cheaper. It'd be about the price of a soda, probably, or even it essentially is. Yeah, yeah, or even like a seltzer. Like I've seen is about the same price as soda, from what my understanding too. So yeah. it's like. I think the most I've ever drank was like uh, I had a friend who she her dad had passed away, and um, oh, I think I remember this. She it was like a couple of year two years later. Her lawyer called her and was like, "Hey, here's a big fucking inheritance. Here you go." And she was like, "Oh, dog, we're fucking celebrating." And I remember I also specifically was like, "Hey, you don't have to pay for me. It's okay." Cause I was super poor at the time, but she really, I had helped her a lot with her like relationship shit mm. because she was recovering from this really abusive situation. Yeah. And so she was like, I'll take you out as like a, a, a thank you for everything that you've done. Mm. And so we just had, we were just fucking, we went to bar Louie. We had shots of Cavarcier. Yeah. I remember this. Oh my God. It was amazing. I had like fucking two or three rum and Cokes. Oh, nice. It was amazing. Or no, I had old fashions, which are more, I think, more Probably expensive. More. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, but essentially the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We were just fucking partying, man. Nice. Guy didn't even know what Cavarcier was. The kid that waited on us. <laughs> yeah. It was so funny. We had to tell him what Cavarcier was <laughs> and that they definitely had it and to bring it out with shot glasses so we could do shots of Cavarcier. Awesome, dude. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. I drank a lot of that job. It was not good for me. No, I get I it, though, yeah. I shouldn't have done that. Some jobs suck, man. I get it. People yeah. need advice. We were doing fucking shots of Hennessy in the bathroom. Oh, my God. It was great. <laughs> but yeah, no, what an asshole. Fuck that guy, dude. Yeah. He gamed the system <laughs> too hard, man. Yeah. Or I think... Oh, actually, no. There was one time I threw up at a at a gay bar because they had a $10 all-you-can-drink uh, all you can drink. And oh, just, really? Damn. Yeah. So you just go. You show your flash your ID. They give you pay ten dollars. Then you had a little wristband. You could just show up. I think I had like ten or twelve rum and cokes, but they were oh, in like wow tiny cups. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, because if it's all you can drink, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Can't go back there. Too yeah. embarrassed. 
passed out in the in the back of my friend's car that she left unlocked because she was also drunk. <laughs> Jesus. It, very dangerous. No yeah, one yeah, do yeah, any of this. Yeah, don't do this at home. Not good. Didn't have a good time. This is why I say, guys, don't drink. Yeah, it's. I mean, you're right, though. <laughs> That's the thing. People were criticizing us for that TikTok because you said uh, alcohol, all alcohol is bad for you. And I went, eh, as a joke. And then you said you were joking, you bastard. Yeah, so I can get the blame off of me, yeah. And then people were like, oh, obesity, al- alcohol mention. Yeah, oh. fuck TikTok. I hope it gets banned, actually. Fuck that. <laughs> and a bunch of people were like, oh, she's pressuring him into having a specific reaction. Alcohol is bad for you yeah, or whatever. Yeah, so pointing a gun at me under the table. Yeah, that's what's yeah, happening. That's I'm totally, pressuring Josh into like having I his have reaction. final say on the cut. <laughs> or goddamn free fucking will. God damn it. Shit. I'm gonna edit. I'm gonna yeah, edit I this. Yeah, I pull all the goddamn. I'm the fucking puppet master. I pull all the goddamn strings. Yeah, Sarah's the the one behind all this. I, yeah, I lash you outside. That's what happens. Oh, you shouldn't that. say Clip that, that on right the podcast. <laughs> Clip that right now, please. <laughs> uh, solved it though. Solved it. God fucking damn. I was saying that as a goddamn. I know that alcohol is bad for you. I don't even drink. <laughs> Get yeah, apologize much. to TikTok right now. Apologize to them right now. I can't even take it with Concerta. <laughs> I can't even take it with my medication. <clears throat> Fuck you, TikTok. Pieces of shit. God. All right. So we're doing it. Oh, we're doing it. I don't All know right. if it was it was left in the uh but yeah, okay. I think I yeah, I th- yeah, I'll leave it in since we're doing it now, yeah. Okay. One of mine got taken down, so I just found this on the front page. Yeah, that's how I found it too in the first place, but I haven't read it yet, so okay. Okay. Am I the asshole for being naked while talking to my male friends? Okay. For context, I twenty seven female am usually naked in some way. I live alone, so no one is bothered. I work from home and have virtual meetings, which I tend to Winnie the Pooh, shirt on, ass out. That's a little <sighs> Okay, all right. I don't have a lot of windows, and I keep blinds closed. I just prefer being naked or in my underwear if no one is around. That's... Okay, so far... The Shirt, s- underwear? I don't count as being naked. I don't count that as being naked either, necessarily. I don't even think and of I it think, as Winnie the Pooh-ing. I think, I it's think it would just, be no underwear. That's like pajamas for me. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, also, so far, as long as you have the blinds closed, the only thing I'm a little weirded out by is doing it on Zoom. But also, if they don't see it, I guess it's not a... But also, like, what if you see it? Okay, whatever. Okay. Okay. I'm part of a friend group of gamers, and we often play video games online and chat on Discord. (laughs) Mostly men, a few women. Often, I'm not fully dressed, maybe like a bra or shirt, but rarely pants. So, this this, essentially the same thing. Yeah, that's... (sighs) Shirt, underwear. I guess half naked. Talking on Discord. But I mean, only, only in bra and underwear, right? No, it's sometimes just a bra, uh, a bra or shirt, but rarely pants. Oh, okay, same thing. Okay, fine. Doesn't necessarily mean that she's not wearing underwear. Oh, okay. It's not something I ever announce that I'm not weird about it. No one has a clue, and I don't think anything of it. Okay. So they're not on video call. That's fair, They're just then. talking. That's okay. That's a little different then. Okay. The other day while on a Discord call with a group of friends, one of the girls, Jen, who I have become online friends with but ac- actually haven't met, video calls me to show me her new outfit i reject the video but call her normally and say i can talk while she shows me she asks why and i explain that i wasn't fully dressed to be honest i was deep conditioning my hair and hopped on in a towel to pass the time so i was actually totally naked and didn't want that on video that okay that's a little that okay that's actually i'm not even like i don't think it's a boundary crossing that because you're still in a towel and you're saying no don't show me on camera yeah because I think it's okay to call people if you're, like, wearing a towel or even, like, out of the shower. Yeah, like, yeah I think you that's see fine. it all the time. Yeah. She started to go on about how it was weird that I talked to the boys while naked. I explained that I was in my home and they didn't know and it wasn't a big deal. Later in the week, one of the guys messaged me saying that they had, that people had talked and were uncomfortable with this. Apparently, Jen had told them all and phrased it like it was some kink thing. Oh, that's fucked. Okay, that's actually really fucked. It's not at all. I'm just literally in my own place. Have you seen rent prices? I'm not paying all that to, ha- to have to wear pants at home. He said that some people want to tell my boyfriend, who knows and doesn't care, Yeah, I that think they might make it mandatory to be on video while playing games that's... to avoid anything perverted happening. What do you mean perverted? 
I think the video thing is creepier, to be honest. I told him that yeah. they were all blowing it out of proportion and it wasn't a big deal and I've never done anything inappropriate. They think I should apologize, but I refuse. Am I the asshole? God, I've, sometimes I don't I, think so, man. I don't think you're the asshole either. Okay, that's it. Okay. Are you fucking kidding me? No one's seeing you visually? Yeah, as long as, yeah, you're not like... I will say, I do think it's weird to be on Zoom in a video call and not be wearing pants. I think that's a little weird, too. I wouldn't be comfortable doing that. I think I've done it once or twice, but, like, it was for, like, a, I don't have my camera on, I'm looking at other people. Yeah, okay, so know? I think, okay, because I'm trying to think of, like, even, like, I feel weird, like, if I were to, like, say, go on stream, for example, like, wearing pajama bottoms for me is still a little weird, mm -hmm. even just for me. Maybe that's just me. Because, well, you, maybe you have to get up. Yeah, exactly, you know? you know, and, like, you know, I think it's okay, I... I feel like every time that I've had to do a Zoom call, I get dressed as if I'm going to go into the place. Yeah. Because it's on video. I think the most I haven't done is like, I, maybe I won't wear a bra. But like, okay. But you can't really tell usually. Yeah. And yeah. like, I think like, you know, if we do like uh, audio calls, like maybe I'll wear a pajama bottom still. Mm -hmm. I don't usually wear just like my under, like only in my underwear. Like usually it's only like if I don't have any laundry at that moment. Well, that's my pajamas though for yeah. me is like wearing a shirt and underwear and that's it because yeah. that's how i grew up was as a kid that's what i would and wear. i think like as long as yeah if you're not on video call who fucking cares also there's so many times like people will take phone calls like while in towels or like if you get out of a shower no one complains if I, you're calling you know i've talked to my friends in a bath before yeah you know I think, yeah, because nudity yeah. isn't inherently sexual. That's the thing. It feels like they're sexualizing you That's immediately. That's the thing, yeah. Yeah. Like, and, like, you know, I'm not like a full-on nudist, but I think as long as, like, you're walking around, even if, okay, let's say, like, you were inside your own house and yeah. you're walking around nude, quote-unquote, which in, in this case, you're not. You're wearing a t-shirt and probably underwear. Yeah. That's, yeah, I think that's fine. And I think this conversation could be reframed as, like, a boundaries conversation and consent and i think it could like make more sense like oh hey now that i know this i'm uncomfortable with it and i that's wish you didn't do yeah. that that's fine not how dare you you're a piece you're of a shit slut, actually you're, <laughs> you have a kink and you're forcing it on us i don't think it's a kink to yeah because she crossed your boundary by sharing this intricate and in, you know like yeah, information with the, the rest of the people and, and framed, framed it, it as way sexual that's like oh she gets off probably to just being fully naked or yeah. like yeah when that's not what's happening here yeah that's so weird yeah what a, okay i think that's another thing of like puritanical culture yeah i do yeah. think so i think it's a big issue man i don't because like i don't <sighs> it's fine to not to not be okay with it i think that's no fine. i think it's fine to not and be okay it's fine with to nudity. voice your opinion However, and I your think, boundaries and your consent, but you're not yeah. the asshole because up until this point, it wasn't an issue and everything you've done. I think it's weird as hell to be like, we're all doing video calls now. That's a weird invasion That's a of privacy. Weird, yeah. Cause now it's like, okay, now you want to see into my bedroom. Like yeah. in order to hang out with all you guys, I have to show you like, cause even like, uh, like <laughs> every time I've had to do like, uh, like thing of being like, God damn, I got to clean my room a little bit. Like I got to make sure, you yeah. know, like even like I mean, thankfully now of how the streaming setup is, I don't you don't see the huge mess in here. Oh yeah, but if I like, stream, you definitely can. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but like you know, it's like um, I don't know. It's just like weird as hell to me. It like, is weird. That's just so strange. -y. Strange to me. I don't. God, that's weird. Cause like yeah, if you why are you asking? <laughs> does everyone have to be closed when you take a phone call? Like that's what I'm saying. It's the, essentially the same thing to me, a Discord call. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Also, just focus on the game, <laughs> guys. Yeah. Do you think, okay, like, I, because I know there's, like, porn, like, where it's, like, oh, getting head while winning a dub in Overwatch. But, like, that's so, A, that's so few and far between. B, that doesn't really, as long as you're not, like, using voice chat. <laughs> And just fucking moaning into your yeah, goddamn I ear. Yeah, I think that's fucked up. I think that's absolutely fucked up. But that's and not also, what's happening. That's here. not what's happening here. No, I think what's happening is you're playing a game. You're, you're just comfortable to be and you're playing a goddamn game in your game. own house. Yeah. yeah, you're not dressed in the goddamn yeah. nines playing a fucking video yeah, game. Yeah, I don't expect when I'm playing fucking hell divers, everyone's in a goddamn suit and tie going to war. <laughs> yeah. I know that the guy that was like, oh, this is the super funnest game ever is probably in a shirt and underwear on his, like, couch or something. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, what are these other guys wearing? Yeah. You know? Everyone has pants on at all times. 
That's a little. I don't believe that. For I don't a goddamn, believe that. And for a damn second, maybe this is okay. Maybe this is a little uncomfortable for some of you guys. I'm not wearing jeans when I edit these fucking things. I usually am wearing pajama bottoms, but I'm yeah. definitely not. As long as I'm not in front of a camera and not have to be on a thing, I'm not wearing yeah. like jeans. If I'm in front of a camera, I'm wearing pants. Same. At least hundred percent. Maybe fifty fifty. I'm wearing a bra. Yeah. Actually, not even twenty wearing a bra. Eighty not yeah. wearing a bra. I fucking hate them. Um. But like I usually they, if I'm not doing that, I, I'm not wearing pants at least. It would be even weird like if you said like if you gotta play games, it's no shirt, no shoes, no service. Like why do I need to wear fucking shoes? <laughs> yeah, like what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> gotta wear shoes to play video games, guys. Gotta wear shoes to play video games. Sorry, gotta get in the gamer headspace. It's wild. That's it's weirdly so controlling. It's very controlling, yeah. Yeah. Weird. That's just weird to me. Solved it? solved it? I think we solved it, not the asshole. Yeah. I'm glad you did that one, because that's a good story. Yeah, I know. It was actually kind of good. Yeah. I'm totally naked when I edit these, dude. Did you guys know that? <laughs> yeah, Josh is fully covered I'm in butter. Fully, yeah, I've been covered in grease. Yeah. <laughs> Am I the asshole for not wanting to spend $450 on my friend's homemade pottery set? Okay. Okay. All right. Here's the deal. <laughs> I'm not adding any of this in. Apparently, there isn't one because it's four hundred and fifty dollars. Hey, 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 hey! Get no respect. Hey. You might want to. You might want to hold on that. Oh, that is a deal. Here's the deal. Oh shit! A good friend of mine, we're both twenty nine male, recently picked up pottery and has gotten pretty serious about it. To support him, and because I thought it would be nice to have some unique dishes. I mentioned, mentioned I'd be interested in buying some of his work for my new place. I didn't ask about the price at the time, which First I mistake. now realize yeah. was a mistake. Yeah. We were talking, we were texting about it, and he sent me photos of a set he made specifically for me. Oh, God. Six plates and six bowls. They looked great, but then he mentioned the price. $450 with a 50% friends and family discount. 50%? He would have sold those for $900. I was taken aback by the cost. While I appreciate the effort and skill that goes into handmade items, $450 is a lot more than I was expecting to spend. Yeah. I responded, pretty surprised, saying that the price was higher than I anticipated and suggested that he might be able to sell it at full price to someone else who could appreciate it more at that value. I thought this was a reasonable suggestion considering the price was beyond what I was comfortable spending, even with a discount. However, this seemed to upset him. Now, things have escalated. He cussed me out over text, refuses to speak to me, and has even backed out of a planned trip with our group of friends because of this argument. What the fuck? I'm left feeling confused and guilty over the whole situation. So am I the asshole for not wanting to pay $450 for some bowls and plates? Edit. To those asking, my exact words were, I'm not sure what I'll need cer ceramic wise, buddy. I'd have to think about it. And then a few texts later, yeah, maybe you could make me some plates and bowls, but that's it. $900, half off, 450 Okay. So, because, okay, because you've done pottery before. How much is it to, like, to do, to do that? Yeah. Trip? Um,. It can be expensive because if you're throwing it on a wheel, it is a lot of work. Genuinely. Yeah. No, I, I think, it, yeah. It's a lot of physical strain. Not going to lie. I'm not no. going to shit on pottery. No, me neither. I don't want to do that. But there are certain, if you remember Pottery Gate, the Australian Pottery Gate thing that happened oh, on TikTok. Oh, yeah. Where that lady, know. Shelby, um, this woman, this uh, TikTok influencer, Australian TikTok influencer, talked about this mug that she has that has like two handles on it and she basically said in this hall that she had bought it from the stall at this like art festival thing and she didn't realize that there were two handles on it and that it was like pretty it was like 80 bucks it was like something really expensive yeah and she was like oh i probably wouldn't have bought it and i was kind of shocked at the price and i didn't realize it had two handles the reason for the two handles is that it's for it's a disability aid mm. for people that can't grab things. Oh, it's a little easier sense. for people for it to have two handles. Yeah. Um, and but I mean the price is a little you know. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. So 
the person that did the pottery that ran that stall responded and was like, no, I lied about talking to that woman. Oh, yeah. And I said that she was specifically harming her small business and like did this whole passive aggressive bullshit about it. Yeah, I remember that now. Turns out the entire time, the mug with the handles was like, mo- was a mold. Oh, She had shit. never even thrown it on the wheel. Mm. She had just filled it with ceramics, waited for it to dry, and then unmolded it. And that was how she makes her pottery. Wow. And she was selling it for fucking $80. <laughs> which also, a lot of people had brought up a really great conversation of, if you're selling a mug specifically for people with this type of disability... Why, Why are you pricing it? It's so expensive. Yeah, that's pretty wild. Jesus. Yeah, that's pretty fucked. So there's certain things that can happen in like the pottery making community. But I will say a bowl and a plate. That seems it is a little easier. It does seem easier to me than a cup. Yes. Because the biggest thing that I failed at and I couldn't even fucking do. First, you got to center the thing and then you have to enter into it with your thumb to create a little opening so like a bowl would be pretty hard to do Mm. for sure and then you have to shape the outside and the inside of the clay Mm. for it to be even so that's difficult a plate is mostly doing that and then flattening it (laughs) okay that makes sense yeah yeah and most Mm. of what i made and what the people in my pottery class made in the beginning they were bowls and they were plates yeah so i'm not saying I don't, I'm not an expert. I think. Seems pretty easy to make that shit though. And my thing too is I actually don't think 450 would be super unreasonable of a price for this set. I'm going to do it. some calculations. Yeah, do some, yeah, do some math. Because in my head, I actually, I think 900 might be a little bit much. 900 is insane. It does seem like too much. But like. I do feel like if you find out after the fact that it's actually going to be more expensive. $75 per piece. Wait, really? Yeah. 450 divided by 6? Or 12, technically. Oh, was 6 plates, 6 bowls? 6 plates, 6 bowls. What is that, uh, fucking 37 and a half? Well, okay. Kinda. That's still not, the, that's not bad. But if you but didn't guy, realize... He didn't say how many he needed. That's he a lot many, of plates and a lot of bowls. Yeah, if, even for like one person, yeah. I will say thirty seven fifty is about what I would expect to pay. I think, yeah, maybe the price isn't unreasonable, but if you didn't realize what the price was going to be, yeah. I can understand not being comfortable paying for it. Yeah. Especially if it was never set in stone, how many plates or how many bowls you wanted, when you wanted them. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, there was also no price estimate either. Like, usually, like, if you get, like, a custom, like, piece of art or something, usually yeah. there's at least, like, an estimate. Yeah. Like, you don't go into Tires Plus and you're like, hey, yeah, change this isn't my the oil. fucking IRS. Yeah. And they're <laughs> fucking, just like, oh, I don't know. It's a secret. It's a secret. It's a secret. Usually, if you kind of know, and maybe get, maybe this is an issue, like, if you're a new person, like, mm-hmm. doing pottery, you're not sure how much it's going to cost, how much labor you're going to do, what you think your labor's worth. Yeah. Et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Like I think, yeah, maybe it's I, a little bit harder. I definitely think the labor's worth thirty-seven fifty oh, per yeah. piece. I think it's so too. Just you gotta get. That's just a bad business practice is to make a bunch of shit and to be like, now here it is, here it is. Give me all this money, and I'm giving it to you on a discount because I would have I would have sold this for nine hundred dollars. Double that, someone might buy that. Maybe if you make a really fucking really good fucking pottery yeah. and you found a. a a benefactor that really likes your shit. Yeah. I think you could sell it for that. I don't think that's like abnormal. Like no, 75 I don't think so per I piece. think, yeah, handcrafted stuff. That's the thing that's murky about handcrafted stuff is like. And yeah. it is a lot of labor, even for a bowl or a plate. Yes, I agree. It's a lot. I never want to belittle someone's labor. However, some people can't afford that amount. You yeah. have to you have to talk to them beforehand about it. Yeah. And it sucks that his reaction afterwards is to get really pissy about it. Yeah, that's what's weird to me. Like he could like, just be rational about it. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. And back God. into the vacation, I don't know what that's about. Yeah. Unless like, well, yeah. the money is to go towards the vacation. Like he needs that exact amount of money. That'd be just say that then. Yeah. Then maybe that'd be easier. <laughs> Start a GoFundMe, dude. I don't know. Yeah. God. God. Solved it, though. Solved it. I wouldn't say you're the asshole now. Yeah, I wouldn't. Am I the asshole for canceling a student's campus visit? Ooh, okay. 
For the past few years, I have consistently been included on family emails for what appears to be a bright, talented young woman with whom I share a name. My name is not unique, nor is it incredibly common. Think Olivia Tipton, parentheses, made up. Okay. My email is Olivia M. Tipton, at, and I have no idea what hers is. Her mom's email is Karen P. Tipton, at something. The emails originate from the young woman's mother, and although this is an assumption, it appears to be somewhat of an overbearing mom. <laughs> okay, so you've listen. got enough emails, wrong emails from this lady that, that you like, know about her personality, personality and her parenting would, style? At this point, I would have admitted, hey, you got the wrong email, I think. So we're going to get into that. Okay. That does happen. Writing the kids' presentations and speeches for her and then sending out to the family to edit. The entire family is editing this person's speeches. Oh my god, okay. Presentations. I have responded to dozens of these moms' emails letting her know that she has got her daughter's email wrong. Never mind, okay. Fast forward to the past few months and I start getting college visit confirmation emails oh my god. from some pretty high-powered schools. Mom is copied on these emails. I write back to mom, only telling her that she used the wrong email. No response, and emails keep coming. I write to each school, tell them that there's been a mistake, that I have let mom know, and please stop emailing me. Most replied back, thanking me for letting them know. Mom copied on all of these. Well, last week I got another email from an Ivy League. Mom copied confirmation of a visit this week. Oh my God. Emailed mom, asked her to correct with the school, got another email from the school today asking me to confirm or cancel the visit. I wrote back simply, I am 50 years old and not visiting colleges at this time. Mom was copied. Got a message back today confirming the cancellation. Mom was copied. I know I am the asshole, but seriously, if you had let the kid set up her own visit, she would have got the email correct. Wow. I don't think you're an asshole. I kind of don't think you <sighs> emailed her so, so many, many times. And yeah, I, like she's got it down enough to edit her own child's presentations and speeches, but she can't recognize get the email right. Come she's on, the one yeah. that fucked up. And also, especially if you're like your your email that you put with your college is important because yeah, it's going 100%. to be tied to whatever. Yeah, because you're going to eventually need to log in to using that email and you're then you get whatever the email is they give you. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. Yeah, that's so weird that like... That's one of the first things that you need to get right. That's crazy that like the mom is just like sending these emails and then being like, I don't give a shit. I'm not checking. I'm not giving a I'm fuck. I'm out. I don't need to... Yeah. Because, okay, if you're saying that every... God, how many fucking emails have you had to say over wrong years. email? Over years. Yeah. Dude, I would, I would at the, at some point, I think I get so annoyed, I'd start like a fucking investigation <laughs> of like fucking. Uh, I gotta find this person. And I need to go to her house right now and tell her you got the wrong email. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd hire We're a hack private, into the fucking I, the, the the hack into the mainframe. Yeah, yeah. that's so funny. Because like, how many fucking times can you say to someone without going insane? I'm not this person. Please yeah. stop. Yeah. <laughs> That's so crazy. And colleges email you fucking nonstop. Yeah. Oh my God. The spam you must be getting in yeah. your fucking email. Uh, genuinely, I'm sorry. Yeah. Also, it's just I'm, a fucking yeah. visit. You know what I mean? It's yeah, an Ivy whatever. League. You yeah. can probably find a virtual goddamn video. Yeah. Don't spend your money there. on an Ivy League. Fuck that. Fuck that shit, man. Unless you're like, I'm becoming a lawyer. <laughs> don't do it. I don't think. I mean, I don't know. I don't even know. Yeah, I know. I know. There's like a few specific ones that you'd want to go to for specific reasons. I can't think of them off the top of my head, but like, I mean, when I did my college visits and everything, as long as it's not like fucking orientation or something that, yeah. Big, but <coughs> that's important to know. They need this shock so that they don't put the wrong email in for orientation, and then she doesn't get it. Yeah, yeah. and like, because you know, it's important. I don't know. It's when I did my college visits, it just didn't. It meant nothing. Yeah, I think I had to do, I didn't only did one because I only went to Valencia, but like, yeah, I was mm. just like, show up in one room, you're going to college, leave the room. They tell you a bunch of lies about the college, and then you're like, okay. And then you go there, and then you see that everything was lies. Yeah. And you're like, oh, great. Awesome. Now I'm here, and it sucks ass. Everything Thanks. It fucking sucks, actually. Yeah, it's, it, who cares, man? Jesus. Maybe if you're going like out of state or something, it's a big deal, for sure. But like, 
come on, man. Yeah, man. That's stupid. You got to get the email right. Get the I'm fucking sorry, email you right. Yeah, you have to pull a little bit of work. Has there not been a conversation between the mom and the real person? No. Of like, hey, uh, have you gotten my email? Yeah, right? No. Oh, I'm just going to resend it <laughs> to the same email address because I'm a smart person. Little dude, fucking Gen Xers and boomers, they do that shit all the I'm time. I'm not surprised. Yeah. You ever work with someone like that? You'll run into that situation Dude, a I quit lot. my fucking job through email and apparently no one got it. <laughs> not a single fucking person got the email. And they, they didn't even f- get it a month and a half into you not showing up to yeah, fucking work. Yeah, like, hey, where are you, man? What's going on? Bring yeah. your uniform back. I think they they did get it and they just didn't want to. Yeah, because like I was still getting mail from like the fucking uh, overarching company of being like, oh, hey, here's your HR newsletter. And I was like, why am I getting this? It's November. I quit two months ago. Yeah. That, I mean, Take we a had, goddamn hint. We had someone at a job that I worked at where the guy just fucking disappeared and they had to do like a fucking wellness check. Oh, Jesus. To make sure that he was okay. <laughs> so I feel like they would have done that. Yeah, if it, but it, also I was posting on the internet every week at that point, so I think people kind of could tell that I was okay. We would have had someone show up at our door and be like, where are you? They're worried about you. Yeah, exactly. You they know? would have served me papers. Yeah. Not You're showing getting up sued to for You're not showing sued, up to yeah. work. No, that's not true. For not setting up tables properly this week. <laughs> so happy I don't work there anymore. Yeah, Solved too. that shit. Solved it. How many more we got? I got two more left, right? Yeah, I, I got two more you. left, yeah. These ones aren't fun. Yay. That's what you guys come here for, right? Not to have fun. Some of them do. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Am I the asshole for not supporting my daughter? Yeah. Done. All right. Move on to the next one. Oh, if if only it were that difficult. (laughs) My daughter is the devil's daughter. Yeah, whoa. <laughs> My daughter is a demon and wants to murder all of humanity, and I don't support her. Am yeah. I an asshole? Am I a huge piece of shit for that or something? <laughs> My 56 female daughter, Margo, 28, has been with her boyfriend, Mark, 30, since she was 16. Okay. I don't like Mark, and I truly think that he's, a ba- he's bad for my daughter. <laughs> okay. He convinced her when she was 18 to leave home with him and go to the same community college as him and settle down together. Wait, okay, hold on. I gotta do math. Because she was 28. He's 30. They've been together since she was 16. He would have been 18. 18, 16. Okay. All right. Maybe like they knew in high school. Okay. That's not, not terrible. the worst. I, I've seen way worse on this show. Yeah. He convinced her when she was 18 to leave home with him and go to the same community college as him and then settle down together. She did that. And at 23, she got pregnant with her first child, Jace. Everyone was happy for her, but I hated it. I couldn't help but feel like she was throwing her whole life away from this guy, for this guy, and when she looks back, she's going to have regrets about staying with Mark. However, I never said anything, and they eventually went on to get married when she was 26, and even bought a house together after their honeymoon. Okay, and she's going to start regretting it. Totally. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fast forward to the present day, and Margot works in an office while Mark is a construction worker, but they both make enough to get by with bills and living expenses Okay. on top of paying for daycare for Jace. Okay. (laughs) And and the problem is... (laughs) On Friday, Margo and Mark came over with Jace because my husband and I have been missing our grandson, so I invited them over for dinner. And they came like a bunch of assholes. Well, they walked in the door like pieces of shit. (laughs) And then they ate the food that we (laughs) served. Can you believe it? When they came over, my daughter had a huge smile on her face and said that she had some news that she wanted to share with us. We sat down at the table and with a big smile on her face, she told us that she and Mark were having another baby. Oh. My face fell and I couldn't help but feel disappointed (laughs) in her. So I told her so. Oh my God. Okay, great. This is what? Hold on. This has been 10 years of a relationship? Yeah, okay. Or 12 years of a relationship. Yeah, sorry. I just wanted to go back and check the math. Oh, the horror. (laughs) She's so miserable with her house and her <laughs> her job and her loving husband <laughs> and her child. What the fuck? And she moved out at 18? God. Okay. She's okay. the perfect child. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, oh, all right, okay. And it was all community college's fault. Yeah, liberal snowflakes. And Mark. Okay, yeah. My face fell and I couldn't help but feel disappointed in her, so I told her so. Uh-huh. I told her that I didn't think having another kid with Mark was a good idea because Mark isn't the right one for her and that she, when she <laughs> looks back on her life, she is going to regret everything having to do with him and that he basically ruined her life. I'm sorry, that was a run-on sentence. I had no control over that. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. She got very quiet, and without saying anything, she left. Mark told me I was a jerk before storming out and following her. Oh, yeah, I wonder why he would think that. My husband also agreed, but my friends who I told about the situation are on my side. So was I the jerk for being honest with my daughter? Yeah, for being honest, that's what it, that's what it was about. That's it. I, you That's know, it. like That's most it. people, I mean, at least my parents were like, you should get a car and leave soon. Please. Please get out of here. Please. What Honestly, though, fuck? I'm willing to bet this is how your mom would have fucking acted yeah. if you fucking left. 100%. Yeah. That's, and you know what's really funny is every time I have to tell a therapist that the reason that my mom and I had a huge fight was because she refused to respect you as my partner and refused to meet you. Yeah. Um, before we hit the five years of our relationship, therapists, therapists would be like, oh, and is he a good partner to you? Because, you know, no, it's dangerous I, no, for a woman a good, to go <laughs> off with a man and like abandon her whole family. Yeah, the worst thing I've ever done to you was tell, hey, can you want to start a podcast together? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, but, so I, I mean, should be, I'm it's, paying the penance. He's tennis. abusive in that we started a podcast together. That's that's what I mean. But like, you know, they, they used to like throw up their eyes like, oh, you're in a dangerous situation, maybe, you know? And yeah. then they would prod a little bit and then they find out that you're great. Now, and then they'd be like, oh, okay, I get it. But yeah, that he's they great wouldn't and awesome immediately. And has inches, yeah. yeah, and you're you got a huge dick and you love <laughs> yeah. sex and every everyone loves sex and we have sex all the time. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but no, they would they would have to poke and prattle. They wouldn't immediately um, believe that my mom was crazy. Yeah, but now that I'm past the five years, they have to do the mental math of like. Oh, so you must be like happy. So that bitch was insane. <laughs> yeah. And then I have to be like, yeah, now you're getting it. Now you're like, yeah. I'm explaining the fucking Hadron Collider to them. So the particles go around really fast and then yeah. they boom, explode. That's what we call the God particle. Yeah. And, uh, and then they're like, now I'm getting it. Now I get the Da Vinci Code finally. It just took five years of being respected by one person yeah. that they were like, oh, okay, now I believe you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Sucks, man. But absolutely, my mom would have been oh, like that. Oh, yeah, for sure. Wow, that's and, like, so <laughs> funny, though. There is speculation in like the comments of like people being like, oh, is he like the wrong... It- quote unquote wrong because you have the wrong job or like the wrong like b- religious beliefs or whatever race maybe which it could be i mean I, I wouldn't be surprised if like you know some sort of weird judgment is on yeah, mark you know for sure yeah and you're just not willing to admit it could you know? just be that they got they you know people genuinely believe they'll like oh you're never gonna marry your high school sweetheart or whatever and i think it happens sometimes I yeah. Guess, yeah, I think I think if you can get past like five years after high school, I think you have a better chance because that's also because you've been together for five years. Well, you know? yeah, that's the relationship thing is like yeah. once you pass five years, it's like it becomes statistically really low that you guys are going to break up. Yeah, you could still, of course, anything can anything happen. Anything can happen. Yeah, but like, yeah, it's there's a most relationships end pre five years. Yeah, so it's like I don't know. It's just wild mm-hmm. to me, man. Like, <laughs> yeah. Everything's going good for your, like, something that you fucking pooped out your vagina, and you're just like, that can't be right. That no, can't be can't right. Happen. This can't She's happen. She's gotta have a worse life. Yeah. She's gotta, she can't have a fairy a tale fucking wedlock, American right? life. She had a kid out of wedlock, and as we all know from our Lord and Savior, Ben Shapiro, that's a bad thing. I, the funniest part is she doesn't even describe what's wrong. She just says it's Mark. Like, we should know yeah, what's Mark. wrong you with guys Mark. Know Mark. Everyone knows that Mark sucks. And also, yeah, what are you saying to the friend group that, like, the friend group is so on your side, but your husband who meets with Mark is like, why are you being a crazy motherfucker about yeah, this? Like, yeah, yeah. It must be that you've poisoned your friend group against Mark. For sure, Which yeah. is like, okay, yeah, whatever, he's your stepson. Do whatever. Go or, crazy, Yeah, queen. your uh, brother-in-law, yeah. Oh, yeah. Or, not brother-in-law, son-in-law. Son-in-law. I don't... Who 
<laughs> Why do I have a on? microphone? Yeah. Yeah. Who? We're idiots. Damn. Unplugs microphone <laughs> from podcast set. Yeah. He's your fucking son-in-law. I guess you can talk shit about him. Who cares? I get it. I assume your mother talked shit about me. Oh, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, and also her her son-in-laws, you know? Yeah, I'm willing to bet, yeah. I have no clue, but it's not on my business. That's yeah, fine, it's, as it's long as she's her, nice to me in public, that's she'll, fine. She'll have to pay for it when she's at the pearly gates. Yeah, yeah, that's, you know, that's why I believe or in when Jesus she gets Christ. Re- <laughs> or when she gets reincarnated as a bug. Yeah. <laughs> Solved it, though. Yeah. But also, Mark's an asshole for existing. So, You're I mean, an insane person. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Yo, he just walks in my house and he walks out of it. I, and... I love the concept of someone who hates someone so much that they can't even describe what's wrong with them. Yeah, it's like, I would maybe believe you if you just explain what's <laughs> what? wrong with yeah, them. what's going on. A little bit. There's wrong shirts. I don't like, like his shoes. Right. He wears a 2XL when he's actually a medium. Because he's a filthy construction worker. <laughs> yeah. It's classism. Right yeah, on. it's honestly, yeah. Okay, this one's sad. Ah, uh, well. Yeah. Didn't know my best friend had a bridal party, and now I'm unsure if I should attend the wedding. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Jesus. When my best friend got engaged, she told me that she didn't want to do the traditional thing and have a bachelorette or bridesmaids. But it turns out she did have a bachelorette party <laughs> with her fucking lie to you, <laughs> quote unquote, bride tribe. Yeah, it's out. You're done. I'm sorry. It's over. Yeah, I'm finding this out two weeks before her wedding, which is across the country. I fully understand that we've grown apart over the years and I don't live in the same city anymore, but we text every week and see each other a few times a year. Because of this, I was unfortunately still under the impression that we considered one another to be our lifelong best friend and was completely blindsided when she texted me that she was excited for her bachelorette party this weekend and then posted a picture of her bachelorette party with all of her other friends. Ooh. I'm realizing that I've viewed our friendship differently than she has lately, and though I understand it makes sense to pick the friends that are closest in proximity to her, it still really hurts. I'll recover from it eventually, but now I'm unsure if I should go to her wedding at this point since things are still refundable. I was very happy to take off work, board my dog, fly across the country, uh, book a hotel, and rent a car for the best f- for my best friend, but in total it'll cost about $2,500, including the black tie attire my partner and I purchased for this wedding alone. Just for, a f- for just a friend, I don't think I would put in anywhere near this much money and effort to go. I can fully picture myself regretting going to her wedding because I'm just a guest and nowhere near as important to her as I thought I was. I also don't want to burn a bridge by not going and regret not going, but I also fear there isn't much of a bridge to burn on her end anyway, which kind of sucks. Any advice? Thanks in advance. Update. Thanks for all the advice. I've decided to go to the wedding because I care about her a ton. My partner and I are going to look for fun things to do where we're going where we're going and make a little trip out of it. Okay. I fully accept that we're not as close as we used to be, but I still want to be in each other's lives. I plan to talk to her about it all afterwards, so I'm not adding a ton of emotion to what I imagine is a stressful time leading up to her wedding. So, wait, okay, maybe I missed something. So, when Mm. she got invited to the wedding, she was told that there wouldn't be any, like... She's not in the bridal party, and basically she said, like, she was told, oh, I'm not going to do, like, a bunch of bridal stuff. But, I mean, it is common to have your bridal party, like, talk you into. Oh, for sure. No, I can understand that. You know? Because they don't want to, they don't, if it's, you know, a wedding's supposed to be a one-time thing. Yeah. Suppose. Theoretically. So, hopefully it is. Never, but. It's... Yeah. I mean, it it might not be, and that's okay. But yeah. if it is your first wedding, you might, you want to do all out. the things yeah. to do something so you might not regret it later. You know what I mean? Okay, so that's fair. I okay, I because I'm wondering. <laughs> I really think there's no asshole here, honestly. I agree. I do agree with that. Yeah, yeah. I was being a little facetious in the beginning, but as it got explained more, because okay, I. <laughs> it is a little shitty of it's the bride still shitty, yeah. to say that and then to go and do something and else. At least like maybe warn her, maybe. But I guess she's still not part of the bridal. But like, it can be easily fixed with a talk, which yeah. we don't know about how that went down. I yeah. feel like you're really an asshole if she talked to you and then she's like, "Well, why do you think so much of yourself?" You know, something like that. Yeah, but like, if you guys, if you're on the assumption that you guys are like best friends, you know, even if you're not living in the same city, mm-hmm. you know, 
I think that's a little weird. Okay, because I don't I, listen. I've definitely been uh, the short end of the stick, where like people yeah. would do things without inviting me, and then I realized later, oh, everyone I know Dude, was same. there, and I should have actually gone, or I could have gone, but no one invited me, or I wasn't able to make it, or whatever. Yeah, they cut me out specifically for yeah, some right? reason. Like it yeah. feels uh, sus. Yeah, mm, yeah. <laughs> but like you know, it always sucks to have that. And I think like any anger or sadness that comes from that's totally justified yeah the Maybe feelings are yeah. justified that was something that i learned uh recently um i think i saw it on a tiktok where it was like your feelings are justified yeah but your behavior is not you know mm. you what you do with your behavior mm. is important because that's an active choice your yeah. behavior having the feelings is fine and they're always valid. Oh, yeah for sure but what you do with it is important yeah and speaks to your character and everything. And so I think she's doing the right thing. I really, honestly, I think um, still going is great. Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah. I think if it's, it's just a, it's so real though, you know, it really spoke to me as a person that like, when we went to those three weddings, it was like different time, different periods where like, oh, this person is actually held me in higher regard than I thought they did. Yeah. Or, oh, I'm actually not as you know, m- not as much of a friend but to this person that I thought I was. Yeah, I feel that, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting, man. Yeah. And it, it, weddings really do that, but I think it's um important to, if it is humbling, to just be humble about it. Like, Yeah, no, I agree with that 100%. You know, I was like, okay, well, that is, I mean, yeah, that's how it is, you know? And also, yeah, a lot of know? times, it's you're just organizing a wedding. You're like, yeah, you're not going to get everyone's, you know, uh, sadly, some people do get the short of the stick and that's just kind of how it is, you know? Yeah. So I don't know. I think like, yeah, I think I kind of agree with no, no assholes here. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it can be talked out for sure. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe once you get there, like, at least you might have some time with your friend, you know, unless like you're. (laughs) situated at the farthest table away from everyone dude which and you're even just like then, t- t- chairs facing the wall <laughs> yeah even then like maybe just fucking you know yeah be like oh, i think i'll have a separate time maybe yeah and that's the thing too i think it's a good idea to not just be the the wedding be the only thing you do there yeah uh, in that uh place I think that's great that's i think a it's great a smart idea yeah. no matter what yeah like find out like if you're Cause you know, like if you have a fucking Orlando wedding and like if they secretly go to fucking Disney, but you decide to go to Universal, at least you still had that, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I, I do think it makes more sense to have a bridal party of people around you. You know what Agreed, I mean? hundred percent. Yeah. It sucks. And it really sucks to be like, you have a friend group and then you move out of that city. And then you can't really. You can't really. Be also, a part you can't of that. expect people to fly out to you as well. And you for can't. Your, yeah, you can't like expect them to keep you in the loop of everything going on in your city. It's just part of growing apart. You're growing yeah. apart physically, but you're also growing apart um, in your friendship as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's it, just kind of how it is. Yeah, yeah this is kind of how life the is. Ebb and man. flow of life, man. Yeah. Solved it. Solved it. Last one of the night. Yeah. I hope it's a good one. I don't remember. I hope it's a banger. All right, this is from relationship advice. Ooh. My 27 male girlfriend, 23 female of two years, is pressuring slash manipulating me to propose. I don't know how to fix this. A <laughs> lot of layers. I don't title. know how to fix this, dude. You were so happy with, I don't know how to fix this. I don't know you think that's this, so funny. I, whenever I hear that, it's like, how do I fix this? It's like, you're not going to fix you can't. it. You it's, can't. It's, it's over, dude. Yeah. My 27 male girlfriend, 23 female, and I have been together for two years. Mm -hmm. I moved into her apartment six months ago, and things have been going well. Until we had an argument last week about the next steps. Our lease ends in nine months, and I've been mentioning getting a bigger place together since it's only one bedroom. She tells me, I'm not going to move into a bigger place until I have seen some level of commitment. Then she went on to explain how if things don't work out between us... She has nowhere to go and won't be able to afford the rent on her own. Okay. She has no family and explained how she could possibly be homeless as she found a g- good deal on the apartment we live in now and, quote, that gives her a sense of stability for herself. That caught me off guard, so I told her, that's feeling like I'm going to be forced to do that now. After I said that, the argument started. She said to me, really? You'd feel forced? Didn't you just ask what type of ring shape I like the other week? I thought we were on the same page and began to cry. Hmm. And then she thought I was glossing over the fact of her situation and how I don't care. 
Yes, over the past few months, I may have done things that, that would hint for a proposal within the next year. I did ask what ring shape she likes. We have talked in detail about our wedding and children. I've said to her that I've been thinking about coming home to a little one the other week. Okay, okay, dude. Okay. How many years have they been together again? Uh, This is two years. I guess, you know, people do that. So yeah. I'm not, that's not bad, but it's like you can't get mad yeah. when she's thinking about she's it. She's thinking about it, yeah. <sighs> but all of that <laughs> was in a future sense, as I don't have a specific timeline. 20 years into the future. I'm just taking things one day at a time. She tells me I'm saying things, quote, men with a timeline would say. I just wanted it to be special when I propose a surprise. I was just looking into rings, but it all comes off as manipulation since she's been basically telling me if I want to live in a bigger space, I have to propose. And that's it. That's the end of that post. So how do we fix this? <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, Discuss, Sarah. <laughs> what she's talking about is very real, though. Yeah. Like, and I've had women in my life tell me before moving into this two bedroom, two bath apartment, mm. make sure that you can pay the rent on your own. And I was mm. like, ha fuck you. <laughs> That's never going to happen. I'm poor. Yeah. <laughs> it, but it does suck. It does wear yeah, on yeah. your, you know, if I think like, um, a uh, fuck, if we're not going to be, if I thought that we couldn't be friends post breakup, Oh yeah, we want to be living here then. No, I, I think it would be still this. easy. Like we could discuss, like, all right, if we have to live here another year, I get this side of the house, you get that side of the house. Yeah, yeah. and then we'll both get jobs, and we'll and we figure can pay out. our halves of the rent. Everything's yeah. gonna be fifty fifty. Especially now, yeah, things mostly are still fifty fifty in this house. You know, yeah, yeah. But you know, it would be really fucking rough. But well, I yeah. signed up for that. You know, yeah. No, I agree with that. And she's telling you. She's not okay with that. And that's absolutely fine. She needs a level of commitment and security. And honestly, it's fucking scary to not have family, to not have a car, to not know that if your, you know, your relationship isn't going to work out, that you can't pay the rent of where you are currently and you might be homeless. It's terrifying. Hmm. I mean, you know, or that you might have to go to like a woman's shelter, but then if you have pets... You who's going to take the pets and, and you can't bring them and who's going to take care of the pets? Do you have to surrender yeah. your pets? And that's really emotionally awful. Yeah. So Jesus, I yeah. don't think she was trying to say propose now. I think she was saying, I want to know when we're going to get married so that I'm okay with the timeline. Yeah. Which is real shit and a real conversation. Yeah, it's not that you manipulation. Have. No, she's trying to have an actual grown up relationship talk with you which is good you should yeah. have that before you just kind of rush she's into also marriage she's way younger than you in bringing this conversation up too oh she's way younger than him I missed dude's the... 27 she's 23 okay and they started dating two years ago as well so what happened was she brought up that uh getting married and then you got scared can't tame this stallion dude can't do it <laughs> and I don't know why men get scared I don't know why. Josh, do you know why men get scared at the at the um, concept of proposing? Because <laughs> trying to, th I, I don't know. Because I'm trying to think about like marriage and stuff. Yeah, you know, I don't. I feel like because you've you've um <laughs> putting you on blast. You don't want to get married ever. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, we've talked about it before. Can't, can't tame this stallion. I was just talking about myself earlier. <laughs> yeah, it, but, but you do say that as a as a joke. I know you're yeah. joking, and I'm pretty chill about marriage because I've not even really, I I've not I don't even think I really give I, a shit about honestly, it. Honestly, and I think a lot of it too is like it just seems like a lot of paperwork that I don't want to do because I have ADHD <laughs> and yeah. like the planning of a wedding. If we were to do a wedding, sounds yeah. like a nightmare. Yeah, there's a lot of, and I feel like I also grew up, and I think a lot of media, especially me, now that I'm watching Bones, I'm like, yeah, there was a weird like prevalent thought of like looking at marriage as an archaic institution. Like I remember having that growing up for some reason. Yeah, that left a sour taste. And then my parents got divorced. Boo hoo. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. You know, like I think like I've just had a weird taste of like, well, if I get married, it's just not going to fucking work out. <laughs> no. And I was also socialized. My mom was like, you're going to find some guy and you're going to fucking give up on all your feminist ideals and fall head over heels for that guy. And then you're going to get married and then you're going to be in hell because that's what happened yeah, to her. Yeah, now, as we all know, you're a huge trad wife in this house and yeah. you're a bang mate. <laughs> 
realistically josh does more chores than i <laughs> yeah, have the, ever I'm the done goddamn bang made you yeah, fuck for real like yesterday he started cleaning and i was like can you stop i'm <laughs> getting tired watching you clean i gotta take a nap <laughs> yeah jesus all you call me in for is to have sex and leave <laughs> yeah and order uber eats yeah <laughs> We can't um, even do it anymore because they won't give me goddamn refunds when Taco Bell fucks shit up. Yeah, Fuck Uber, Uber Eats thinks Josh is a is a criminal, <laughs> yeah, <I'm> a fraudulenting <laughs> them from from lying for to them $4. about four dollars. When realistically, it's just Taco Bell doesn't give us our goddamn food any, any ever a, ever just ever. Why do we go back? Why do we force ourselves? I don't know. We should probably stop doing that. Yes, I agree. Um, but okay, so God. I don't know. It's hard. I don't know why men get scared like this. Because I've known men also that are currently married to their wife that mm. were like, I don't think I want to propose. And then I'm like, why? Like, do you want to yeah. get married? That's what you should figure out. Yeah. When you're in a relationship and she wants to get married. So, yes. You now you do yeah. have to figure out if you want to get married. Yeah, I think there are situations where someone can have a relationship for multiple years, mm -hmm. not get married, but still like have a life together. I you think know? that's fine. I think yeah. that's totally fine. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think, yeah, but if one person wants marriage and if you're already comfortable of living with this person for, you know, the rest of your life, you might as well just get fucking married, you know? And honestly, you should be you should be happy that she's being real with you. Yeah, that's not it's honesty is good thing, actually. Yeah. Like, this is what I want. She's aware of what she wants. That's a good thing. That's great. Yeah, it's very difficult to do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. True. Takes a lot. It takes a lot out of a person to be that self-aware about what you want in your life. Yeah. Hmm. Damn, man. You know? I don't know. Yeah, you're a huge... Like, I, <laughs> I think you're cruel for saying those things about marriage and talking about children and then flipping Being it on. Like, I'm not that, fucking marrying you. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what? You got to at least therapy to babe, figure out what you want. Babe, I'm just taking it one day at a time. <laughs> <laughs> That's what made me laugh the first time I read it. I was just like, It's fuck so you. classic. Yeah. <laughs> when you're Matthew fucking McConaughey about marriage. <laughs> Like, I just live life loosey goosey, and you're 27 years drive old. Buick. <laughs> you're three years away from being 30. Or Lincoln, whatever the fuck car he drives. Oh, I think it was Lincoln. Yeah, it's probably Lincoln. Yeah, it's stupid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, uh, that lesson is gonna be learned when she leaves your ass. Yeah, exactly. And you're not gonna have uh, actually a uh, a house. Yeah, you're and kids. Have, yeah, that's out the window now, dude. Yeah, that's it. God. You fucked it up, man. You fucked it up. So you, uh, Mary, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> you like, I, took it away from I me. Was trying to, I was trying to lean up. I'm sorry. I just, I fucked it up there. I'm sorry. Yeah, nut up or shut up, I guess, is the actual thing. You yeah, know? that's that's how you fix nut it. Nut up to marriage or yeah. shut the fuck up about it. <laughs> nut up to the... marriage sounds like a, like a Christian. <laughs> nut up to marriage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, fucking, yeah. like if I went to high school, like it was like one of those cool Christian high schools. Yeah, they turn the chair around and they... You know. Guys, why don't you just nut up to marriage? You know, who had a wet-ass pussy? A little <laughs> carpenter, I know. You know, stuff like that. That's our show, dude. Yeah. God, that was actually a short one. Yay! Three hours and 43 minutes of recording. Ooh. So it would only be three and a half hours. If I hear one fucking person be yeah. like, it's under four hours, I'm unsubscribing. What the fuck? You got 38 hours of Quentin. You're you got good. 38 hours of Quentin. I'm doing you a favor listener <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Uh, sarah what do you want to plug today uh you can follow me at that's so here in t-h-a-t-s-o-h-e-e-r-o-n um that's t-h-a-t-s-o-h-e-e-r-o-n on all social media uh i am joshua chinland j-o-s-h-u-a-c-h-i-n-l-u-n-d oh you're I'm stealing, gonna, yeah, my I'm stealing it so people follow me on all the social medias that okay. i have and I'm a guy nicknamed JC, H-U-I-N-I-C-K-N-A-M-E-D, JC. Okay. On Twitch. And I'm, I'm hoping to stream this week, maybe Tuesday, so probably the day this podcast comes out. Nice. I'm not going to do it uh, on Sunday currently because we have the book club tomorrow. Oh, and, yes. And uh, I got to edit and I want to get most of my editing done before Monday. I got to finish that fucking book. Same, yeah. But yeah, speaking of the book club, uh, the book club is about to meet. We're going to record something soon for that, uh, but it'll be uh, on patreon.com forward slash APWSTR. We'll be picking our next book for that book club this week. Mm -hmm. And check it out for also ad-free exclusive content. And check out our Buy Me Coffee if you want to say something nice during the ad segment. Yeah. And go check out straightovercoffee.com to get our coffee line. We've got two different flavors. You know them. You love them. Links in the description. 
and links in the description down for Palestine and um, our distributed computing. Even yeah. though there's a ceasefire, though, please keep bothering them because apparently him. it's working. It's working. Please yeah. do. Yeah. And yeah, go check us out on all our podcast. It's APWSDR on TikTok, a podcast saves relationship on all podcasting platforms. Uh, APWSDR Productions on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And fuck, what else is there? Podcast will save this on Instagram. Yeah, podcast save this on Instagram. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're watching on YouTube, and also hit that gosh, gosh darn, darn bell. bell. <laughs> and rate us five stars on Apple and Spotify podcasts or whatever podcast player you're listening on. If yeah. it has a rating system, rate us the highest. Please. Please do. I, I won't tolerate anything lower. Anything lower, I'll bring out the gun. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna and shoot you we're with gonna a gun. We're gonna shoot you with a gun. If you don't rate us five stars. Well, not a gun. The, the gun. gun that Josh has at all times. Yeah, I have it. I'm I'm always ready. <laughs> uh, thank you all for watching. Enjoy the rest of the your day, evening, night, whatever you happen to be in. Bye. Bye. <laughs>